Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Welcome to the stream. I hope you like the vibe. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good chatter and don't be a piece. What up, Sasha, Sinestro, Saint? Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Bigs, bigs, bigs. Andy, bigs, hello. Bigs, bigs, bigs. We're back. What's up, J Mac? Welcome to the stream. I hope you Landino, like the hello. If you're Turn watching the Thank you. YouTube, I'm very excited like to be here. And subscribe. We're gonna play some games. Had a nice vacation. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good oh, chatter and man. don't be a piece of Thank you for six months. Bigs, thank you, thank you, thank you. Bigs, bigs, bigs. And don't be a piece. Vicky was good. I was in Arizona. I went to uh, a wedding. That was really nice. I got a haircut, as you can see. No uh, longer have ridiculous like long hair and beards. Uh, I got to see my parents for a few days. Bigs. I got uh, a deep teeth cleaning in Mexico. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe, oh, Bigs. Bigs. Uh, which Bigs. I certainly recommend if anyone lives uh, Bigs. <clears throat> Bigs. near the Bigs. border. Uh, if you're a, an American Bigs. who lives near the Bigs. 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 add snooze, Bigs. why do they add snooze? Give me three minutes of ads that should be starting right now. Um, okay, that was really weird. Right, my thing's auto snoozed. Thank you for being here. What's up, subs? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I am back. Better than ever, some may say. Uh, I've barely gotten to play with the new card, so I'm super excited to... What if I got a low taper fade? Probably look good, man. Probably look good. They were just tired, I'm saying. I, I've never seen them auto snooze like that before. Maybe I hit some E or something that is a, um, a hotkey? I don't know, I've never seen that. Great, 93, congrats. Almost at infinite. Uh, we'll try and get pretty far today. I think we're gonna stream for at least six hours. Uh, so we'll try and go until like nine or so central. Uh, we'll get a lot of a lot of fun stuff in. I barely played with either of the new cards, but I have cooked up two decks that I think are going to be really good. Uh, I messed with them a little bit this morning. Um, so we're going to do two decks today. We're going to start with a Hope Summers deck, and then we're going to do a, a, a Pixie deck. Uh, ch -ch -ch. And let's show you the, the ones that we cooked up. So the Surfer deck is really interesting, dude. Um, the Surfer deck's really interesting. So it's a Surfer Hope Summer deck. Uh, but it has a lot, like, it is a psycho amount of energy cheat. We have Hope Summers, we have Psylocke, we have Magic to get us an extra turn, we have Sarah, we have Wave. And essentially what we can set up to do, um is if we magic, we have a lot of different ways to make it happen, but if we don't have magic down. Uh, we can set up Psylocke Wave on 5, or Wave and anything on Hope Summers on 5, and then set up Surfer Odin, uh, which is very powerful, especially if it's on Wong, it'll be six, uh, 6 triggers. So if you have a Wong down on 4, uh, on 5 you play even just Wave on top of Hope Summers is enough. 
You have seven energy. Odin costs four. Surfer costs three. You can play Surfer Odin on six. Uh, so super cool. We've been playing it. Mobius is really good right now. So Mobius will kind of mess us up a little bit if our opponents are running it. But um, lots of cool things. We can get early Sarah with either just Psylocke or Wave. Uh, lots of really cool stuff we can do here. So this is the deck we're going to start with. Uh, we're also going to play Pixie Spectrum. So I kind of got this idea from uh, D-Money. I saw a Spectrum Pixie deck that he played. Essentially, you just get really greedy. You play a lot of big ongoing cards. You play Mobius, you play Pixie, and you play Spectrum. So you can get cheap Spectrum, Iron Man, Sarah, Blue Marvel, Prof X. Then we have a bunch of cheap stuff that can swap uh, places with those. Uh, and get some pretty explosive final turns. Um, I'm not positive about this one. This one probably needs a little bit more refinement. But uh, really cool and really fun stuff. We might have to fit a Wong in here at some point. But from, from uh, my testing, it seemed to go okay. I only played like two games with this deck. So this one probably needs a bit more refinement. Uh, I don't know what else we changed in the in the um, Greed Surfer. We had, we had Doom instead of Sarah to start. Uh, Fergus Bentley, thank you so much for the nine months. We just had a baby, Pog. Uh, bonus Mosher, thank you for the two months as well. Um, Low Tech Mav, thank you for eight. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I've missed streaming, man. I was definitely really missing streaming by the time I got back. So I'm really happy. I made it weird. That's fair. I think this deck is, is sick. We might need a one drop. But this deck in testing is is sick. This deck in testing is really cool. You can do some really awesome things. So that's where we're gonna start. And let's play some Marvel Snap. Thank you all for being here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to hit that follow button if you haven't. Blood Crow 619, Booyaka Booyaka. Thank you for the six months. Appreciate you. I did catch a cold. We got home late last night. We were supposed to get home around like maybe 8 p.m. or so. And I was going to try and fit a small stream in. And then I had a headache. I had like one of the worst headaches I've ever had. Um, so I decided to cut the stream. We might need like, like um, this card might be good in the deck too. This is like more, more Wong triggers. Uh, it's okay. We can just get rid of this. I'm not super worried here. I take a pixie. I've played two games with the card. I don't. I don't have a take yet. Okay. I think we get the hope summers down this turn. Next turn we magic on top of there. We don't really have a one drop that we'll play. Uh, but we can open up uh, turn five to do some other stuff. Just trying to help cure my headaches? Nah, I don't have any headaches today. I just had a really bad one yesterday. Time's up. We can go double three as well, but Sarah's probably going to be our play. Uh, we're missing Surfer, we're missing Wong, we're missing Wave, we're missing a lot of things that we really want. Next turn, just Mobius, um, Mobius Negasonic might be better. So they are a... I don't, I don't know what they are. Is this a random zero? They're just Sarah control, right? So we probably want to get Mobius down this turn. Mobius is probably better for us than Wave, as, as crazy as that is. Um, we can get to seven energy next turn. How relevant is that? We get to seven, we can play Sarah Quake. Might be relevant. They're almost always playing Sarah here, so we're, we're in a pretty good spot. Early Sarah, I think they're gonna play Sarah this turn, so I think Mobius might help us even more. Next turn we could play Sarah Quake.
Uh, we're only drawing two of our three cards that we have left. We can just play both these middle. Terra three drop maybe next turn. Okay, they play Mobius two. Good that we didn't play Sarah. My right, middle's gonna be very annoying for them. Sarah's irrelevant. Uh, we could still get Wong Surfer next turn, which is is pretty relevant. Wave doesn't do anything for either of us, so it's just a three five that that might be worth. Uh, what can we do with this Quake? Quake doesn't really matter. It's kind of irrelevant. We should be able to win middle pretty easily. This helps us win right, especially if we get Wong. Uh, Wong would be really good next turn. Um, Ironheart's really good too, but I don't think we need any more help middle. We should be able to win middle. Let's just do this. We can move as Marvel. Uh, oh, can't. Oh, with Strange Academy. I think we just Wong Surfer it. Uh, if they have some kind of tech against this, we could be in trouble. Like a Cosmo is pretty nasty. Outside of that, I think we're, we're just cooking them. We are adding 16 middle. It's a 23. I don't think they have anything that could beat that. Um, We are adding... 12 right i don't think they could beat that either and middle we should get ahead too right because we're writing four eight uh so i mean i don't know we'll make them beat us make them figure it out this deck winning against mobius is pretty crazy uh being able to win against mobius with this deck is is pretty nuts so that was i mean that was a wonderful game um very good game. They probably just realized, I, I mean, I don't know, probably were thinking like Surfer, Absman maybe, and they were trying to figure out how to beat that and they just couldn't. That'd be my best guess. This deck often runs Legion and we weren't really playing around it, so maybe we should have a little bit. But beating Mobius with this deck is is not easy. Uh, I'm happy we didn't go on the Sarah game plan. I think playing Sarah early would have been a bit of a disaster for us. I'm, I'm happy we just avoided that. Uh, no, we'll play start, we'll, we'll play Pixie in like three hours. We're gonna play uh, a Hope Summers deck, and then we're gonna play a Pixie deck. Okay, we're just missing Surfer Wave. We have Surfer Wave. We have full combo, which is pretty sick. I think we hold the Psylocke. Uh, we do not have to hold this this though. Uh, it's also very often a bot uh, so maybe snap on him here Shava's on one to me is like bot city there's a lot of mobius right now and we do have it in our deck so that'll happen okay Brood might go right. Here's the thing. We need a full lane for Wong Odin Surfer. If that's our play. And I don't really want to play it all here because it stops our draws. I'll go Brood right. Looks a little looks a little stupid, but I think it's correct. How is Mobius using this deck? How is he using any deck? This is a tech card, man. It's a bot? It is, yeah. Get Wong down.
Benefits is wave gift for this deck. It's the whole reason the engine works. We're trying to get wave, wave into um, Surfer Odin, which goes goes bananas. Okay. This is tough, man. Double Psylocke gives us eight next turn. Still not enough to use. Um, Odin Surf, if we get it. I think we just uh, say that that game plan isn't going to happen. I don't need Surf for a lot next turn. We can hope Psylocke both middle or something, or hope Psylocke both left and get enough to Surf for Odin, but like, why would we do that? Then, then we're losing all of our available chances. I think it's just Sarah left. As as shite as that sounds, I just can't. I just can't take on all this vibranium, man. I just can't do it. My opponent is a full full deck of vibranium, and not nothing else. No surfer sucks. Should still just be able to cheeky win this game, though. Um, wait, how are we going to win right? We just, are we going to lose? We just Nightcrawler right beats us. I really don't want to lose to a bot. But bots are stupid. I think they, have they moved this Nightcrawler already? It moved already. Okay, let's go all in the middle. They only have one card, right? So if we win all three lanes, they can't beat us. And for next game, we have a ton of extra power. Gotta love bots, man. Gotta love bots. Not Jover, indeed. It is always sad that you have to do this at the beginning of every season. But hopefully if we get to like the 80s, 90s, we'll, we'll have a better... Better view on the deck. On team both teams. On team both teams. On team both teams. Yo, credit max. Pixel armor, Pog. Uh, it spends dang credits then. Let's uh, let's juice up our Mobius really quick. Should play Terra mid to get the bot to play an AQ. I mean, we were close to losing that game by like a lot. Could be right, but I, what I've learned. Um, what I've learned from grinding a uh, ladder early is that I just like taking my wins against bots. Like trying, I, I, got, I got into too much trouble, I think it was last season, trying to convince bots to give me 8 cube wins. And I would get 8 cube by bots. Uh, especially because like if you're pretty high SP, um, you start running into cheater bots that will just, that will just dumpster you. So I think that I think that um, I for me I I don't really over go to try and get eight cubes from bots anymore. I, I just I I got I got screwed too many times last season getting eight cubed by bots. Now they got rid of cheater bots. I, they came back. I, I don't know if it was last season or the season before, but uh, there was one of my climbs where I was getting smoked by some ridiculous cheater bot plays. Okay, let's get the cute chibi Mobius in here. And let's make sure we pick up our credits. Turn six, Modok discard. Yeah, but I mean, like, I want to play. I want to have fun, man. You seen all the anecdotal evidence that bots happen every four games in the 70s? Uh, I mean, I don't believe the anecdotal evidence, so. 
If you believe anecdotal evidence, you also think that, like... Um... Okay, free draw is great. Anecdotal evidence also, also like, leads you to believe that, um... You know, that location batching is real, or that, like, deck-based matchmaking is real. It could be correct, though. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Hope feel good in this deck? She does, yeah. Uh, we got the priority flip, so let's try and kill their card. No kill on the kitty, Sedge. Jeff was counting off games and keeping track, it seemed to hold up. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, we could wave into Sarah. We could Psylocke into Sarah. I think Psylocke into Sarah into like Hope and then cards seems like our best play. Cerebro 4. Okay, dude. Let's out here playing Cerebro 4, man. Uh, maybe a snap here. I got a haircut. Bots, uh, Hoagland was pretty confident bots weren't connected to MMR at all. We're on schedule. Very interesting. Just throwing right. The most I can get on right is like four, right? Looks like they're just throwing right. We have our surfer. cards this turn I think we should just win right no matter what right because they either have to break Cerebro the only way they can win right is to break Cerebro we only need one extra energy we don't actually have to wave is eight. Oh, they can get to six. They can get to six there. Their Cerebro makes their cards eight. Maybe we just do a single Cerebro then. Instead of Cerebro Odening. Let's do this. They're actually giving their kitty exactly where they need it, which is pretty crazy. You're the Wong Surf. Wong Surf is scary, though, because Wong could just die, because the only way we could play it is left. We just do this. This gets us to seven, which beats their eight that they could possibly play here. They can't play Miss Marvel. They have two threes. I'm, I'm willing to go for this for 8. We're getting plus 5, plus 6. We're getting plus 11. We get to 18. Uh, They have to play a card and kill it here, right? I think we win these. Nothing. 
Let's what the see. hell? What insane luck. We do win these though? Not even close. By the way. Victory. Not even close yet. What a psycho Cerebro 4 deck. Uh, that's just math, man. I mean, that was just, that was pure math, man. Both lanes by one, it was, it was, I mathed it out, exactly. We win no matter where the Wolverine lands, too. Wolverine lands middle, we win left and right. Wolverine lands left, we win middle and right. That's just math, dude. Math is really good in this game. Math is, math is very, very good in this game. RNG dot dot dot, so true. Tough locations for Cerebro? No, they weren't. What were they? What were the tough locations for? Them? None of the locations stop their cerebral stuff. Danger room a little tough. Danger room's tough for everyone. Centaur is not that bad. I I kind of disagree. There was um, bad locations. I guess they they're a little bit messed up at the beginning. I know I'm taking a little bit long. Still getting my my mind in um. Still getting my mind in uh, in the mode. I think we have to get rid of cloning vats. I think we we will lose if we give our opponent cloning vats. Uh, so we don't want to do that. I think we lose if we give our opponent cloning vats. The ninja hurt them. It hurt me too, man. Like I don't. <laughs> Like Clintar, Danger Room, and um, Clintar, Danger Room, and uh, Ninja location are all bad for everyone. Okay, Negasonic. Negasonic could be very helpful for us. I think we just brewed middle here. Let ourselves be free of this location. Now we have to wait to quake until the very end if we do this, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. Let's we'll see what we get next turn. We'll get the Mobius down, don't worry. We got time. We'll get the Mobius down. We have our Odin. This current can just be like Wong into like Mobius Wave. And then we have two draws for the Surfer. We're a little bit off curve, but it's kind of fine. We do need our Surfer. Everybody's a Binks fan. Hey Zeus Murphy, 85, thank you so much. Also, Blood Crown. Oh, I already got Blood Crow 609 because I said Booyaka Booyaka. I remember that. I remember this. This happened. We need to draw a Surfer, which kind of sucks, but we've been having a big, big problem drawing Surfer. How many cards have been killed? Kind of a lot, right? It's like I could like crystal to like guarantee a surfer draw or get close to it. But I think I have to get the Mobius waved on this turn. I think I have to do this. They could play death now. Hope wave. <laughs> we could do that, but I don't think it's good. So no death to worry about. 
No Surfer, unfortunately. And no priority for Negasonic. It's tough. Tough position to be in. Uh, Odin doesn't work on the goblins, so don't worry about it. Uh, I think this is a retreat, unfortunately. If we had Pryo, maybe we can make something work, but we do not. We will win. They could be scared of the Surfer and maybe run as well. Okay, two key retreats, no bigs at all. No, Goblin would not come back. It would jump four times, I think. Pretty sure it would jump twice, it would jump and then come back, and then it would re-trigger and it would jump and come back. Elysium. Um, maybe snap next turn. Odin does work on goblins, not when Wong is there, because it multiplies the effect. So it triggered twice, twice. So it would go over and back, and then over and back times. Those times. Oh, Surfer would have made the goblin a positive, so it would have still been a good thing if I had Surfer correct. I was just preemptively making sure that people weren't telling me to... Play the Odin on the Goblin because it doesn't work. Thank you for the rock. Uh, I think we're in a great position here. Get a bot, put a Hobgoblin on Convertage. It's always fun. Is this a bot? That uh, Nightcrawler move is weird. Ah, they emoted me, that's a good point. Mm. Try this. I don't know why they would move the Nightcrawler there. It just doesn't make sense. Ah, okay. That makes sense now. Why rock? I don't know, man. I shouldn't have played it. Cost zero and I got scared. Okay, we have the full combo. We can even Surfer early. We're scared of Cosmo and stuff like that. Nico. Okay. Very interesting. Ooh. This might be a lose Nexus win the game situation. We'll have to see. Mobius is gonna get huge though. Pretty big. I think we win still though. I think we might even get over task left. Get over task left. I think we beat task left here, which is crazy. I think we beat task left, which is absolutely nuts. I'm fairly certain we beat task left, which is just, just crazy.
crazy that we could beat Task left here. They got like the luckiest setup possible. Absolutely crazy. Victory. And it wasn't even close either. We won by 13 with 15 and and 13. It's crazy. Yeah, Lyoth would have sucked for sure. But I mean there's nothing we could do about that, unfortunately. It's damn close to unbeatable when you get it. It's fairly consistent too. What you drinking? It is a uh, soda stream zero calorie energy drink. Uh, I hold the Psylocke. Be easy to play out the Psylocke, but we hold it. Pet Monchon. Let's get the Mobius in game. What's up, Blask? Day's going well, man. I'm, I'm excited to be back and hanging out with all y'all. It's really nice to be back. Like, the vacation was good. It was good to recharge. Um, see my parents and everything. But uh, it's definitely very, very nice to, to be back and in, in the swing of things. Ikea. We have our own magic, but we don't need it. There's a chance this is also a bot. If if the one in four games thing is real, uh, this was my fourth game since my last bot. So there's certainly a chance that this is a bot as well. Okay. Turn six here. We have the surfer. Opponent snaps on us, which is very kind of them. Let me just play all our threes. Excuse me. You can play double Psylocke, but... I don't think we need to do that. Get this set up in case we top deck Odin. Yo, what up, Eva? Thank you so much for the raid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a bot. I think bots are that rigid. Apparently, people have been saying that, uh, uh, insinuating that it is quite rigid. Now, do I know? I do, I do not know. I do not know if that is the case. Um, I don't think they could beat this, right? They passed, chat. They simply passed. You saw Gladiator in here? You sure can try. Um, Negasonic's a pretty flexible spot. I think Negasonic, Quake, probably Psylocke as well are the are the flex spots in the deck. So yeah, you can make it your own. Uh, I think that Gladiator uh, has some issues though. Gladiator. Um, while you're facing bots, it might be fine, but a lot of people are playing like really big cards in their deck right now. I was running Gladiator like last week. Now, I, the meta might have changed quite a bit, but. Miss Marvel, the emo bot? I'm good. Yeah, I'd probably take Shaw over Gladiator. The Shaw, the Shaw can get ridiculous in this deck. Okay, Kiln Quake is, is kind of lit. Kill, Kill and Quake goes pretty crazy. Uh, do we use our Psylocke just for stats? I want to use our Psylocke just for stats. We can Brood Middle. We're actually in a great spot because we're going to Brood Middle and then we're going to Quake it away. Oh, 
Shaw can certainly solo a lane. You just kind of get filled up, though. You don't really need to care about filling a lane as much as you think. Certainly good, though. Like I said, uh, Negasonic's a flex spot. Uh, Quake is a flex spot. Uh, Silex kind of a, a flex spot. So you can schmoove any of those cards around if you so need. Summer's left is kind of crazy. Uh, this quake should decimate our opponent. Is the hope? It's a little quake Sarah action, no big deal. How am I ever gonna win that lane? The humanity. Okay, some extra energy. We Negasonic right to kind of lock them out of there. Uh, we're always going to win middle. Uh, they have to expect Surfer, so even if we don't have it, we should be fine. And we get the Surfer pod. Um, we're gonna add eight power. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing they could do, right? They're, they're leaving 100%. This sucks for the opponent. This cannot feel good, man. I hope they stay. I mean, it'd be psycho to stay in, right? Like, how do they ever plan to win left? Unless they have some really weird tech. Yeah, GG's. Thoughts on Pixie? I've only played two games with her. We will play her a little bit later. God damn, Quake is so good, dude. I almost put Jeff in instead of Quake, and I'm really happy I didn't. Quake is crazy, dude. Quake is such a crazy card. I want her in every deck. I, I simply want Quake in every single deck I play. Is Mobius needed for this list? I mean, you can try, but like, Mobius is really good, man. Mobius is super good right now. Um... I mean, you, you can you can change it if, if you so need. What's up, Alex? For being here. I'm back! Get early Wong. I mean, we have Psylocke Wave for Wong Surfer. All we're missing is Odin. So I, I think we just vibe, man. I think it'd be a bit foolish not to just vibe. Yeah, Mobius is just so good. Mm, draw is nice. Like, Start Tower is good too. They might move the Jeff. I, I think we just... Don't worry about it. Ah. Wait, we're gonna win the Abby? Oh no, they're not. I was gonna say. Maybe I should have separated these. Since we don't have Odin, I don't think we do wave Psylocke. I think Sarah is just fine here. We go Sarah into like Brood Negasonic Surfer. Pretty tough for them to beat. Uh, do we have Pryo? No. So we just lose to the Annihilus. We can get back over top if we like brood there, maybe. Annihilus definitely hurts. Okay, insanely rude. They were not even ahead. If you're ahead, we'd be in a really good spot. Because we could like block off right. 
Now we can't even win middle, most likely. Ooh. We just can't even win right when they annihilate us. Middle's winnable if they move the Jeff. Why would they do that? Maybe they don't have... Um, I, I think they would play the Annihilus if they had it that turn, right? <laughs> wow, they actually let us win with Surfer. You're, you're silly for that. They just, they just threw. Really bad throw. We're in almost unlosable position there. Victory. Greedy, greedy indeed. Indeedy, indeedy. Now we take those. We certainly take those, chat. The juxtaposition of the chill music in that Doc Ock. Root magic right, then surfer left also won. I don't think so. Um, we go second, so the brood doesn't trigger. If we had priority, we could have brewed surfer, and we definitely would have done that. But we were—I mean, we, I was really hoping I would get priority out of that whole situation. We got priority out of the situation. We were, we were, we were Gucci. They really like Shuri's lab. What the hell, man? A cool ass looking Nightcrawler. Okay. Our combo is starting to take shape. They're gonna get the biggest kitty in the world, which is kind of scary. I don't think I'm ever snapping here because I'm terrified of what, what they're doing. Okay. Next turn it's almost always Sarah. Like this, this puts us in a pretty good spot, but I mean their their kitty can win here pretty easily. Yeah, we're probably retreating this game. Very likely that we're we're gonna be you're, you're gonna be seeing the retreat button here. But uh, I mean, let's let's see how big of a card they can get. Pretty exciting for them. Uh, we can also fight for Pryo and then hope to top deck Negasonic. Is, is a thing that might work. <laughs> this gets us to nine. Oh, we have to play something right. That's right. Gets us to eight. Is eight even that important? Oh, man. Wait, we're actually still ahead. Which is very important. 
we get Negasonic here, I think we could win. There, there is a, a tiny baby chance. Tiny baby chance if we have Negasonic. We did not. We should have just retreated now. They're almost never retreating. Escaped. Yeah, the red the red crackle looks pretty nice with this one too. Quantum would not have reduced Kitty, no. It actually would have buffed Kitty by one. Hilariously. We've done quite the opposite of, of harming her. Mm. This deck is a lot of fun though, man. Red Stardust, shut the, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> Extra energy, Pog. I think we can trap him here. It's your boy time. Into the triples. Is this a bot, I'm guessing? It's either a bot or the smartest person I've ever seen in my whole life. Rude Stonks and Dean. I'm pretty sure this is a bot. Oh, uh, they are winning though. Good time to snap. Extra energy is overrated when you think about it. Hmm. What are we doing here? I don't really know. The strange academy is kind of annoying. This is what I'm we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. I think we're just setting up for like Wong Surfer on seven. Chill. Um, like Wong Odin, Surfer Odin is fine. Get ahead by two, I guess. Green Goblin beats us, which sucks. We have to win left as well. Might be harder. I think this is still, this is still the best. We just lose to Green Goblin though, which sucks. But I think we just have to, I mean, there's nothing we could do. Wave is Goblox, so we just play Wave Surfer. And just say that they can't do anything else. I don't know if that's the best play. It might be. I don't know if it is though. I think we could lose pretty often there. We did that. Victory. I don't think the Negasonic triggered. I don't think the Negasonic triggered yet. Nah, Negasonic would trigger first. If they're the same effect, like, when a card is played, they would go in play order. 
So Negasonic triggered first, then the Echo triggered. Probably play Order Strongest Adventure. Yeah, they murk the goose. Okay, Scorp power. Ah, uh, yeah, the Warhead would have killed the Goblin anyway. Well, they could have played Card and then Goblin, I guess. They are an AI. They're probably smarter than me in many ways. Not always, importantly. Um, If I was the opponent, I had a two drop. Where would I play it? Probably right. Oh, I could have stole your Morbius! Damn. Almost had him. Card draw is always good. Edge. They shouldn't have anything that disrupts locations. Could have reality stone. It's true. Keep an eye on that. Uh, let's try and kill their. Let's try and kill their Dracula. I would say Dracula would go right if they had it. Try to make a educated guess. I did give them a free way to kill their uh, Dakin card, which sucks. No Odin. And they hit their best card. Uh, we're probably in the retreat game plan here if they snap. We're in kind of a lot of trouble. Negasonic does kill Oh wait, you're right. Maybe Negasonic doesn't kill goblins. No, no, well, that was the Eliath change. I, I think Negasonic would still kill goblins, I think. The Eliath change, I think, is worded differently, but I might be wrong. Rags! Um, sick locations. Hold the Psylocke. We get Quake, we can just straight up win left. Might be relevant. This is funky as hell, dude. Okay, no magic. You have to really hope to get this quake. Let's just do this. If we get Quake, we can still sometimes play it left. I know this looks very dumb. Don't don't worry. I'm I'm well aware.
What a the psycho play. We could just surf for Odin. Their Darkhawk is four plus eight, twelve. I think we just do this. Falcon plus an Iolus means they have Hood. I think this beats Hood though. I guess we lose to Darkhawk left Hood middle. Are ye worthy? Maybe I thought I had three triggers, right? Uh, I beat me by two. Maybe it was just Quake. I, I should have calculated this. I think I, I think I thought I had one more three middle or three right. Yeah, you never know what they're gonna do with Quake, right? It's kind of hard to make assumptions. I think Hood Darkhawk is very likely. I maybe should have should have fought a little bit longer. I probably could have figured out a win there. I probably still should have just quaked. That, that seemed like a good play. I was quaking a wreck with Wong. It just switches them and then switches them back. Okay, probably most decks that run this are. Um, what do you call it? Tribunal? Mobius does a good job of fighting Tribunal. Doesn't do everything though. Um, okay, now this is probably Iron Patriot, I think is the most likely. They might, uh, they might magic for me if they have Iron Man. Might be like brew like a uh, bast bastriot type list. Misty knight, interesting choice. I want to magic and extend. Regis Sarah. I think I just Sarah. Um, I got. I mean, we have our Odin Silver. So we should. We should magic. That's magic. I think we magic. I am Iron Man. All systems go. And we do this, this into Surfer Odin. It's quite strong. Uh, Eliath is our big problem. Well, it's like we could avoid. Do they not run Eliath anymore? I feel like they run Eliath a lot. I think Eliath is more scary than Valk. Still should win right here. I am Iron Man. They wave us. <laughs> I think they lie at the middle. I 
think they're gonna lie with me middle. I think they lie with me middle here always. Ugh, oh, unfortunate. Yeah, we definitely won if we surfed middle, or if we did this middle. That's tough. To me, that felt like a lieth all day. I think that was the best play. I feel like that was the correct play there. All right, we're going to run three minutes ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5. You can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available uh, by clicking the subscribe button and seeing if you have a little prime toggle you can give me free money which is really cool siphon it directly from jeff bezos's soul uh also if you are watching on youtube make sure to hit the like button and hit subscribe if you're watching on twitch make sure to hit the follow button uh, i will see you all in three minutes uh let's play a quick bandle actually let's do some gamba let's do some gamba here Solid read and play. Yeah, it's tough. I, I really expected a lie there. I, I, I'm very shocked they didn't play a lie. The problem is them playing wave probably means they could beat a lieth anyway. Like they could play a lieth and something middle, uh, which is very scary. But uh, we just we can't play around both things. Um. What kind of split should we go for? Get another Odin split. We have a lot of Odin boosters. Go for another Odin split. I really like, uh, man, I like this Flaviano. I think we can do better. Do we think we move? Ah, I really like the blue on gold. Maybe try in for uh, one of these uh, the Sletners. All right, we're going to do a prediction. It's a banger split or not. You're going to get a minute. It's going to be ink gold or crackle. Uh, I'll be back in like 30 seconds and we'll do bet your pieces wisely. So wisely. Yeah, no predictions on YouTube. No predictions on YouTube. The only player run a Lyoth, we know for sure the deck is running it. Most of those Iron Patriot lists run a Lyoth. I wasn't sure, but maybe the Misty Knight should have triggered me that they weren't. Nice shirt, thank you. I have to play around Shang-Chi? Not really. I didn't have priority, so it's fine. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good avatar. And yeah, maybe the Misty should have triggered me that they weren't running a Lyoth. They have a little bit lower of a curve. But almost all those Iron Patriot decks run a Lyoth. They try and get priority and they lie with you at the end. I could have just went for the full combo, but it would have been so sad to get farted. It hurts, man. It hurts your soul. What we get? Let me play uh, Mr. Knight last turn. They got it with Iron Lad. That is a miss for the Believers. Sorry, Believers. Not a great split at all. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Disappointed! Yeah, we, spot we spotted the Misty on the uh, Glad. Or uh, on the Iron Lad. Next time we'll just play our stuff. Monstar Island. Not great for us because we don't have Shang-Chi and most other decks do. Uh, very bot looking avatar. I get an early hope. 
We haven't been getting enough juice out of Hope Summers in this deck. Fourth game? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's looking like that's just kind of true. Cable? Uh, it's tied here? We'll, we'll get a snap in. Um, yeah, let's try and get some threes around the board. This doesn't really give us this much. We're getting with like plus two energy. Well, actually, it'll give us plus three, so we can play Sarah Mobius next turn. We're still missing, so we're missing all of our cards. We're missing everything that we need. Cable's still Surfer? How, how do you know that, man? I hope not. I really hope not. It could have. Sarah Middle, hope that we have Pryo for Negasonic. She not that crushes bots for a cubes. Sweet. Damn, how do we win? I think we have to run. They could have my Odin and just play Odin mid though. Oh, it's turn seven game. I'm completely... I, I biffed myself. We do win left, but we can't win any other lane because they have our Surfer. Wait, how do we have two cards in deck? That's wrong, right? Yeah. Wait, did they snap last turn? How did I miss their snap last turn? Do nothing and win? I think we have to run. Oh, I can't believe I missed their snap. Trust and bot to throw. You want to do that for eight? This might not even be a bot if I'm being honest. They're playing like not very bot like. Am I crazy? Get out of here. Oh, F it, we ball. Thank you, bot. I appreciate you. They found the line, chat. Victory. They found the line. It took them a while. They had to figure out how to just lose. 
Yeah, they had to really work to lose that. Gotta love early season bots. It's pretty impressive to lose both lanes by one. Yeah, Bot was freaking out. How the hell do I lose? Uh, we don't want to play middle. We're fine. Close game. Yeah, good old bots. Did I lose? Okay. Surfer would have been pretty, pretty rough. Oof. <laughs> Let's get an early Sarah. Could have also brooded right to lock them out, but I feel like it's hard to win after that. I didn't really want to do that. Uh, early Sarah. No Mobius kind of hurts. Next turn, if you get Mobius, we'll be in a great spot. Just have to hope that we can find some lines here. They did thin our deck for us, which is nice. Got the Mobius. Very good for us. Uh, let's put this right. We're winning, we could be okay. They're probably gonna wanna try and Zola this Knoll. Can't do it just yet. I play around Zola and Knoll next turn. Maybe not Zoling, or maybe they're just trying to supercharge it here. Okay. Mobius helps us against death. Swing three land middle, please. Okay. Okay, so they can now Zola, middle, and play their Deadpool. Uh, which I think we just lose to. Uh, if we had priority, maybe this could be a thing, but we don't. That uh, X-23 lane of middle, maybe you could find some lines. But this is just too big, man. 38-38. Could play is that they don't have that, and we could probably find a win. If they do, we just lose. Yeah, we just we get we get crushed by Zola. There's a lot of other things that have been going to. I, I don't I don't really feel like getting absolutely smoked by Zola here. Very clear Zola setup. X twenty three lands middle. We're actually in a pretty good spot. Yeah, we had a lot of problems that happened there. The Quake going over to their side helped, helped them supercharge their Null. Wave unfortunately helped them. Probably gonna hold this Quake for Mojo World reasons. Okay, I don't love Subterranea. We'll hold the Quake. Jesus Christ, dude. It was just rocks, rocks forever.
Dude, crazily, what we could have done is not passed and then quaked the Mojo World right at the end. That actually could have been so sick. I should have done that. That would have been that would have been awesome. Might just avoid Mojo World now and go like Wong into like Wong into like Wave Quake. Like Surfer, Surfer and all that doesn't really work all that much. Hmm. I don't know if we're playing the Wave. My Wong is way cooler. Rock, rock, Iron Heart. Okay. They're just trying to Odin, so we'll beat their Odin. I don't think this is a bot. They would have moved the Nightcrawler if it was a bot, right? Did you see Negasai? The problem is, how do I win another lane? I go like here, here. I think I can move the Nightcrawler, which is scary. Just move the Nightcrawler right, Odin, right? But this stops that, but how do we, like, win? This? Is stupid enough to work? Just stupid enough to work, man. Take those. Victory. Yeah, Tiger was an issue. I don't know if we could have really played around it much. Tiger, we always lose. I would argue that was a, that was a pretty darn juicy Negasonic, yeah. Killing a 16 power card is always good. I'm pretty sure that wasn't a bot, though. Might have been, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Okay, a lot of good stuff here. Oh, not Surfer. Freak you, man! I do wonder if I need, um, I do wonder if I need more Wong and Odin payoffs. I kind of don't mind Mindscape, man. My cards suck. I, <sighs> I should probably leave, right? Eh, whatever. We'll vibe. Have some fun. Yeah, I think we go... Maybe instead of, like, the, um... Psylocke, we slot in an Ironheart. Psylocke might not be needed with Hope Summers. I 
I think we need at least one other, because we have like Odin and... We have Odin and Wong in here for like a single payoff card. And when we don't draw it, the deck feels really, really hard to win with. Alright, we're getting the Quake, Hope Summers, Wong, Psylocke, Wave, and Odin. Rough hand to lose? Or this doesn't really do much for us. I bet theirs is better. Iceman in their own hand, Pong. Right, we only have three cards left to deal with the whole game. And they suck ass, is the thing. <laughs> Should've just retreated. Yeah, let's try to get Ironheart in here. I do think we need more payoff. Mobius I really like, Wave is really good. Negasonic we could cut, but I like it. If the Psylocke hasn't felt like it's as good. Let's let's try and do more threes. Get Ironheart in here. Plus we have a sick variant for it. Yeah, I don't think Gambit would really work. Basically, we'll have infinite energy. And we've got a Hella deck. I think we can overpower a Hella deck if we get our cards. We just need Wong. Three draws for Wong. We could probably do it all in the same turn. Probably do like everything on the same turn. Three draws for at sixty percent. Go here. I don't think we play the brood. Not fifty percent. So true. Um, so we need to play Wong, Surfer, Odin on the final turn. We can play Wave and Jins. How, mu how much do we need? We need... 4, 3, 4. We need 10, so we need 2 Jins saved. Just do this. Like oh, no, 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 we can't. Fuck, wait, I'm panicking. Oh, I messed up. I think we're out of space. <laughs> yeah, we messed up, we're out of space. Uh, but we can be saved if we get the... Actually, we can play the Surfer early, right? God damn it, dude.
This will give us 10. And then what do we need? We need Wong. We need to play Wong Odin next turn. If we can get it. Or we can also get Ironheart Odin is pretty good. We're gonna play Modok and Hela on the same turn, probably. Okay. I didn't need this gym. Um, I don't know, man. Send it. I don't know, brother. Land one trigger middle. Don't fail me. Peace. Oh, doesn't matter. Holy. Funky game. Very funky game. Victory. Almost cast rolled them. Very close to a cast roll. Yeah, I think the Iron Heart is very necessary. I think we were we were silly to not have that card in the deck already. Hell about I don't think that was a bop. Fairly really certain that wasn't a bop. Could be wrong. Is Quake good? Yeah, Quake's amazing. It was a fourth game. It was a hell of a thing. Swordmaster at the end seemed funky. Okay, we have Hope on three. Or Mobius on three if we top deck it. We'll probably choose that. We also have Quake to move the Nexus. Oh, that's such a cool animation. Uh, I think we go for non-Nexus then. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got my hair cut before I went to the wedding. Okay, let's extend. Get rid of Teton doesn't matter that much. They might be magicking as well. Jew Billy. Magic, but with extra steps. Okay. We get our Wongers down this turn. Play Quake just for the extra energy. Next turn we'd have seven. I don't think that matters that much. I think having seven over six next turn matters all that much, does it? Maybe we just play it for stats right now. Maybe not on hope. Or do this. And next turn we get like brood left, iron heart middle. Do it anyway. Mobius destroys them. If we had it,
This is still the best play. I don't know if Odin's gonna win though, man. I don't know if Odin's gonna be enough. Turning out the Teton was bad, it appears. Uh, we have to expect like Iron Man left, which just blows us out left. Ah, Negasonic does solve that problem. Yeah, that's actually kind of sick. Let's try it. It could, it could even stop their mystique too. Oh! I am Iron Man. Nice mystique. Such is my judgment. Sure would be a shame. Get no freaking points. Yeah, Don, Don Sever, uh, Don Sever, Pedro, Nazan, uh, Nux to all of you. Thank you for helping me find that line. Now uh, that one's on y'all. Pastry Patrol, what's up? I didn't even realize I was ahead. I thought it would be impossible for me to be ahead if I'm being honest with you. But I was indeed ahead. You've lost an AQ in that line, it's engraved in your soul. Yeah, Ironheart helps a lot. Uh, I'm surprised it took us so long to do that. The Psylocke thing is cute. But I think we were going too hard on that combo, and then when it wasn't hitting, we'd be like, uh, surprise Pikachu face, you know? We just kept going for that like uber combo and then we would miss it and then surprise Pikachu face and then lose. Thank you, Polaris. Okay. What do we say to junk chat? In this house, what do we say to junk? We say no. We say no to junk. Um. Okay, so slowly and surely start saying no to this junk. Maybe fastly, but surely. Hmm. We Negasonic this turn. We have so much time and so few cards. What do we kill? Hopefully it's a good thing. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, we have priority. We can annihilate this back at some point. Watch my left lane for a Galactus. Can't go Luctus this turn. Now we can't Odin yet. Next turn we can Odin. They're probably going to annihilate us this turn. 
try and get ahead. Full pass. They're just gonna play an infinite? I think they're just gonna play an infinite. Are ye worthy? Take that shit back. I don't want it. What? A, why would they pass? Hmm. Very unfortunate. I don't understand their pass at all if it wasn't infinite. Surfer's still a bit scary for them. We have to run, but if we had Surfer, they're still a bit of a weird spot. Sus? Why is it sus? Escaped. Think that passing for five whole energy is sus? I think they were going to pass Infinite and then they top decked Annihilus. That's my best guess. So they're probably playing that like junk Sif Infinite deck, Darkhawk thing. But I think they full passed and then they got the Annihilus and they were like, yeah, this is actually just better. That would be my guess, but that didn't seem like a. Uh, didn't seem like a um, snipe at all. Uh, we are fine here. We'll get Hope out into Mobius. Yeah, that Black Knight junk deck, because I'm guessing what they were doing. It's just immediately Mobius, probably. I think it's immediate Mobius time. Uh, I think the Ironheart is better than Psylocke. To me, it seems like a much better play. <laughs> Gotta hurt. Everything that your deck is supposed to do doesn't do shit anymore. <laughs> thank you for the four cubes. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the four cubes. Thank you, thank you. I deserve them. I deserve that win. They did not like that very much. I, I agree. Ruining Pixie players' lives with the Mobius. I mean, Mobius is just, it seems really good right now. It's good to protect your stuff. Like Mobius with Pixie is pretty correct. Already. How do I deal with this? This is annoying. Try and fill it. Use our best best chance. I was a little worried about those raptors. I'm no longer worried about them. Let's go Negasonic left, Sarah left, and then like, we could literally Wong Surfer Odin. That one might not be good enough. We like Wong Ironheart Surfer. It was kind of hard, but like we have to win another lane. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot. Thank you, based creations. That helps us so much. Oh my gosh, chat, look at this. Look at what we're going to be able to do. This is a beautiful thing. 
Wong, Ironheart, Surfer, Odin. It could be beat, but... Jesus Christ, dude. This could be so much power. Like, they could counter this, but... This oh my gosh, this is gonna go crazy. Snap back. Oh, this is probably a bot. That's a good point. They do have the hell cow. It does suck to get such a cool play against a bot. Boy, boys, is cool. Stanley Thunder! Thank you so much for the six months. Appreciate you. It's a fine checkup for the eight months. I missed you a little bit ago. I think I, I think I missed some people when I walked away. I missed Slimness. Your Slimness. Thank you, thank you. Early Binksy, best Binksy. I don't agree more. No! Victory. I wanted to win. What's up, Benaro? I haven't seen the, the full thing, I feel like, barely. <laughs> the fact that the deck's working so well without even hitting, like, our super combo? Pretty sick. I think a lot of people were kind of not thinking too much about Surfer with Hope Summers, but I think just, like, she rounds out curves for, like, Surfer decks so well. Where do we quake? Let's hold the quake. Quake can be really nasty later. He's a point. Opponent snapped. Um, let's not play this right. Okay, they magicked for us. Very kind of you. Yeah, two threes on five is just just already really good. Now we kind of don't want to play Quake ever. Which is fine. Um, you have to get the Mobius down, right? It'd be a fool not to play this Mobius. I feel like it'd be a fool not to play the Mobius. Can't really play this right. If they play anything left, it dies. Play it left, it's just a joke, and they flip flop. Then we won't get both iron hearts. I think we just hold the quake and cry. Oh, very scary. Sure would be a shame, eh? Look at this eight next turn. It's not enough to Surfer and Odin. Yeah, that's just okay though. It's probably just okay though. It's not okay. Hmm.
I have Rogue. I could brood mid, but they could all die eventually if they play like a big card. Quake, swap, Mojo World left, meaning they always win left, If they, unless they play three cards, which is very hard. Nice. Victory. Sarah Quake, right? I don't want my Wong dying that bad, and I don't, I don't want the Ironheart to live. We had a lot of lines to win. I think we just won with the Mobius, like... Uh, is there a link to the untapped page? There is it. You have to go through the videos and figure it out yourself. I post all the decks in my Twitter posts and my videos, and you can see them all in the live streams. You gotta do some work. Double Sarah, pretty bad. Yeah, their scroll would have screwed my Sarah for sure. Do you have the Quake? Um, stats or just play it out? So just play it out for stats or hold it for some juiciness next turn. I think I'd hold it for some juiciness. Fresh Cut Banks, you know it, baby. Mobius? There. I should just Magic Strange Academy. I should just Magic Strange Academy. We're doing okay though. DK Sif, pretty scary. We can go like Hope into Sarah. Maybe get some plays going. We're getting pretty pretty tall, man. I think the value into Sarah into Sarah. It might actually be really good. But it's like winning the lanes is gonna be the, the hard thing. We have to get our whole combo and we don't have any of it. <laughs> it's actually impossible for us to draw everything that we need. I'll just retreat like right now, just in case they have um, location disruption. Like we just, none of our shit does anything. Is the thing. If our shit still did stuff, we'd be fine. Like, if we had, like, the Wong Surfer Odin stuff, we'd be fine. But we just don't have any of it. Just retreat now. Just in case, like, in the off chance they have location disruption. Yeah, we'll do a pixie deck later. Uh, probably starting a little over an hour. Uh, we're gonna do long long stream today, about six hours. So we'll do about another hour of the Surfer deck, and then we have a Pixie Spectrum deck that we're going to play. Surfer could get us there. If we had Surfer, Wong, and Odin. So we needed the whole combo, but we had none of it. It's pretty good, uh, pretty good Camp Lehigh card for a deck. Like, if we had the full combo, we could definitely get there. Uh, we just didn't, we didn't have it. Because we get plus 12 on every card. It, it goes pretty crazy. We'd have to throw right, put all of our three drops left, and then hope to hope to find it. Uh, the Ironheart goes crazy too with the combo. 
Put a camp the eye roll and then immediately ice boxed. Uh, let's just quake for stats. Neither of these locations are good quake ones, so I think I think we're pretty safe to just do that. We do like energy cheat. Yes, we do. We do indeed. Uh, we could just get our Shaw going, I think. Next turn we Sarah. If our opponent Mobius is us, we cry. The shop. Okay. Let's get our Sarah going. Make everything essentially free. Might even magic middle. Might not want them to have this much energy cheat. Our missing is Wong. Maybe we just don't even magic. There's a world where you just don't even magic. What about not magic in chat? Let's go like here. Here. Here, here. And if we top deck Wong, we could still go Wong Odin middle. I like not magicking. I, I I don't think we'll have enough cards to use the magic. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't think we have enough cards to even utilize the magic. Is wave over committing left? Uh, well, we want to keep two spots open middle. Um, for Odin and Wong potentially. And we only have one other spot right. We only have one three drop left. So I think three three drops right and two three drops left is good. Even even though we have the Shaw. Okay, they're magicking for us. Which means we have another roll for Wong. I think we just play the Hope Summers. Then we hope to get Negasonic or Wong are probably our two best outs. I'm not that concerned, I don't think. They can't just beat us with a... Um, they can't really just beat us with like a uh, Limbo thing. Maybe they have some uh, Valkyrie stuff. Asmat's fine. I mean, we're... Okay, Valkyrie now is so good for us. Valkyrie now is so good for us. Yeah, who the hell runs Odin, man? What a what a psychopath. Shadow King Absan? Shut the hell up. They could find a way to beat us. I mean, they have a lot of a lot of shit going, but I mean, we have we have a lot of a lot of power output here too. We're getting plus eight right, plus six left. Whatever the hell Ironheart does, we're popping whatever gets played middle first. Uh, we have we have a lot of good stuff happening here. This is the best pixie deck you saw Hogan playing. You know that from four cards. Seems pretty unlikely that you know exactly their deck list. Called the Valk two turns before they played it. Yeah, we might need a lot of juice right, so this might have been very important. 
Depends on how big the card they played left is. Okay. It's monkey abs. We're, we're toast, man. Yeah, well played. GG's bummer. Tough to win there. I mean, if we had Wong, I think we, I mean, if we, if we got Wong, we just won. It wasn't even close. Why is that an abs in the Valk, but I guess they didn't really have a good target for it. Monkey abs is really cool, man. Yeah, Wong, Wong is a free win there. Even without it, I thought the Mega Sonic could have some uh, potential wins. All just depends on order. They might have played around it. Pretty tough to do. Smarter than to attack middle and left that hard, I think, too. Uh, White Hot Room? Unless we get Brood, we're going to have a very hard time winning that. Mega Sonic helps a little bit. Um, also, it doesn't mean the energy sheet that often. Hmm. I wonder if we go early, early Sarah. We just wave into Sarah. Wave into double Sarah. Try that. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Try waving a double zero, Sarah. This is a pretty crazy final turn. You do a lot of stuff with double Sarah. You go like Wong, three three drops, and then a surfer. Pretty good, man. We top deck a t like quake too. We can quake. What's up, William? J Robot, hurry up! So Negasonic might not be super valuable though, because I don't think we're gonna get ahead. Okay, Gem Tommy. Okay, we do have the Surfer Odin Wong line, so we could go like Hope Wong into Odin Surfer, but I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. I think we just play a second Sarah. I think we just play a second Sarah. It would just get plus 12 here, which I don't think is enough for us to win. One white hot room. I forgot how Elsa Bloodstone works. Okay. Wait. 
Maybe just don't quake. Two biggest cards here. Try to get the six point flip, which makes this even. And then we're adding 10, right? It's gonna be close. I think we got it though. Yeah, we definitely have it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we, I, I don't think we had the, the, the chance to quake there. I think the, I think the quake is a little bit too cute. Not even close. Really good game. GG's Jay. Double star is pretty good, man. I don't have emotes. My emote box is empty. Never seen this before. All right, we're gonna run through with ads. If you don't want to see the ads, yo, Kenny, thank you so much. I want to see the ads. You can pay five dollars, or you can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. Uh, we will see you in three minutes. See you then. Uh, we're going to set up Bandle. Okay, Bandle. Difficulty easy. Released in 1976. YouTube views 662 million. Difficulty easy. Released in 1976. 662 million YouTube views. We're going to start a prediction for it. Thanks. Does he win Bandle? Three or less, more than three. I'll be back in like a little bit. Just need to check on my girlfriend and then we'll play. Bandle time! It's Bandle time! Bandle's a song guessing game. Alright, let's start with the drums and bass. I'm not looking at chat by the way, so you can yell at the answers all you want. I feel like I should know this baseline, but I don't. I don't have a guess yet, we'll skip. Oh, I thought it was Dancing Queen from the first note. Oh, it is Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen by ABBA. Let's hear it just a little bit. Love to see it, that's a win for the believers. It's crazy. The first note, I was like, that is a dancing queen, 100%. And then uh, it got a little funky there. I didn't know dancing queen had such a banger bass line, man. That bass line went hard as hell. That bass line went crazy, dude. How do I not know that bass line? Alright, 22 seconds till the... It's an earthquake? Something like that. 
Place a Marvel set. Oops. Wrong button. Wakanda. Wakanda forever, by the way. That was a Moton base. The base I went crazy, dude. Dude, this cold is kicking my ass, man. No Odin. No Jews. I've gotten to play pretty much zero. This is essentially, I played for like 20 minutes this morning, but I've played essentially nothing uh, all week. Okay, just remember, we don't have Odin. Double magic all the way across the sky. Hope seems great. I mean, hope is just like a 3-4 pure upside. Helps a lot of decks out. Okay, Wong, Sarah. We have Ironheart Surfer. Not gonna play this wave till the final turn, probably. Uh, I don't know how we can beat a Tribunal deck, though. They have everything. So we won't snap. Tribunal deck gets everything. I don't think we can beat them without Odin. Okay, that was that's weird. Play Sarah and then play Mobius next turn. I have no idea what this is doing in their deck. Very confusing to me. Might be a bot. Now that I'm looking at it, it looks very bot-like. And that was a very body snap. Do this. Maybe we don't. I don't know. Let's play the brood second. There's some more points left. Hope seems great for move, but you keep getting RNG'd while playing it. You keep getting RNG, it's not RNG. You know what I mean? Should win us middle and left and right. Should be a casserole. Oh, seven for Binks's missed missions. So true. Ooh. Escape the casserole. Well played. I'll, st I'll take it in casserole, man. Bots do not like getting casserole. 84. Moving on up. Okay. Potential early Sarah game. Teton's pretty nice for us. We won't get rid of Teton like we did before. I messed up and got rid of Teton, and then we had a pretty weird spot. I think we just got magic and a Wong here, and a Sarah. Feel pretty good about ourselves. Is this real Kawa? I don't know if it's a real Kawa or not. It's either Kawa plays or Kawa, or just Kawa. Which real Kawa? Yeah, that's the question, right? Which real Kawa? Okay, we have full combo. Uh, especially if we get Ironheart. That's not true. Wait. Uh, Wong, right, is good. Next time we Sarah, then we play setup cards. Ooh, the random discard. Loses the Hella. They probably don't have much uh, location disruption or me disruption. We have literally full combo. 
We're going to go to the freaking moon, chat. Magento could disrupt. They don't have Magento. They lost it. I guess they could Ghost Rider it, but... It's still a 50-50 if they Ghost Rider it. I guess it's not a 50-50 because they either hit the Hella... Alright, we're going to go hard to try and get Pryo. Okay, we do this first. Double hit here. Then go here, then go here. Then we can like wave Quake Odin to finish. We're just gonna infinite. That's not gonna be enough, brother. Plus we got Pryo, which is sick. To the frickin' moon, chat! Pretty crazy play. Now they could have counters. Hello, so happy. Infinite, not even close to enough. When when Infinite loses you the lane by thirteen. Look, I got my own Infinite. I got my own freaking Infinite. I love Zelda games, yeah. This deck is really fun, man. It's very greedy, but I feel like it does some really cool things. It it certainly like I think surprises the hell out of our opponents sometimes with how much power output can can come. Like my guess is Kawa thought that we were playing around location disruption there, and then we just play we just play an Odin and laugh and laugh and laugh. Always, always love a deck that makes a fun Wong Tower. It does like a little chilly little Wong Tower. Kawa being a bro? Well, they might have thought we were playing around location disruption, right? Uh, I feel like we go for this. I think we're, we'd be silly not to go for this. Play without hope? Mm, be kind of tough. <laughs> GG's, Kawa. Yeah, I, I was hoping that maybe you were thinking that I was just playing around, like, location disruption, so you didn't realize the Odin was coming. But yeah, dude, this deck, is, this deck is cool, man. Hope really opens it. You kind of don't even need hope that much. Like, we use hope. <laughs> not as much as I would expect. But it just, uh, it's super greedy. It's hard to play. I think you can play without hope. It's it's just it's a little hard. Got your free gladiator. Congratulations. Uh, now it's kind of priority management. We hope they split their cards. We play everything in one lane. Oh, we have the full combo. This would be three. 
Because we can go Sarah Wave. And then this would be 4322. 43227. 11. 11? It's too much. Maybe we just have to do this. And then we just surf for Odin next turn. How likely is this to get us over? Not sure. It could... But we have time. No, they have Legion, so we don't really have time. Let's just do this. We have to expect Legion here. We can just go Wong Surfer Odin. I'm pretty sure we have the cost for it. Cost of nine. We have to expect um we have to expect Legion here. Legion here is very likely. Legion here is very likely. If they're gonna Legion, they probably do it right, so maybe we can even like stop them from doing it. Too much though. Problem with doing this now <sighs> have to expect Legion. <sighs> we have to expect Legion. No prior is good. Oh yeah, the quake doesn't matter. Very cool. I think the snap there is smart. I don't know how they're going to... I mean, I don't know. The, the problem with that is, like, I, I kind of don't mind them leaving. Because if they don't Legion, then we're kind of in a really rough spot. Because everything is just vulnerable to Shang-Chi and all that. Uh, no priority win. We hold the Quake. Let's hold the Quake. Uh, we could do this later, maybe. <laughs> oh, hope right. Maybe try and get Pryo. They just do setup stuff left. I'm not going to. Set, Bob. Uh, we are not in a good spot here. Maybe with some extra time, we can make some cool stuff happen. Get the Mobius down for death, which is really nice. Enough said, Bob. This is what we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. Uh, this Negasonic could potentially help us against Noel. Probably run, but I kind of like vibing. They just go null, right? And we just lose, right? And we just get smashed by Zola. We have full combo. It's just, it's just too many points. Should have just left. That was a bad stay. Yo, Sir Officer Nasty! Thank you so much for the six months. 
Super appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. They retreat? I create I look like my thing didn't go down. You're going crazy. I think they stayed. That is a name that they have. I, I don't think I can get close to saying it. What's well, actually pronounced Shong Chi? I do say Sean, because that is the American name. But it is pronounced even the original version is Shong. Shongers. I guess we just go middle. It's the only one that could give us real problems. What do we set our Wong? Save. Rodak. Okay. We can get combos. Well, we will be fine. Really just depend where we need our combo setups. We go hope this turn. Hmm. Let's just, let's just get the Wong out. You'll never get on board with Magento? No one asked you to. You, 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 can, be a, you can be a loser. You're allowed to do that. I don't have any say in whether or not you're allowed to do that. Go hope. Go hope left. <laughs> I could have gotten max, but yeah, they might have changed their play though. This is what we sure got. Everybody's a big fan. Go hope. Full pass. A lot of full go. passes, man. I might just be playing infinite. Thank you so much for the legendary T3 sub. Super appreciate it. Okay, we can get plus 24 middle. Is that enough? What a crazy thing to have to ask ourselves. I don't think 24 middle is enough, man. Their APOC is, is big. Their APOC's already been discarded twice. I don't think it's ever enough. That sucks. Maybe Ironheart Odin is enough right? I think we have to try for this. So I have to get a lot of hits right. That's a good start. Come on, right, 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 right. Good. Come on. We need two more. No! 
Might be enough? It's gonna be close. Twenty-seven, twenty-three. Oh my god. My four points off. Will Spain be better in this deck than Negasonic? Maybe. That's an interesting potential change. Okay, we get our bot to feed upon. That was unlucky? I don't know if it was. I can't, I don't, it's very hard to tell if something like that is unlucky. I just like a bunch of matrices and shit that we'd have to deal with. You'd have to deal with like how the... I, I don't know what it would be. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, snap? Opponent snap? Look at our snapping. Yeah, a bunch of math to figure it out. I don't, I don't know if it was... Uh, really don't know how it's coded? I mean, it's just random. You could do it. You just have to do all the math, which is hard. I don't think there's any reason to expect that it wouldn't just be pretty straightforward how it's coded. And next turn you can go wave Ironheart. Might get a snap here. Very nice of them to put all of their... Uh, Move cards off of the move location. Very kind of them. Uh, snap. Thank you. Bloakers. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it, you bot piece. Drake May to Bears, you heard it here first. I don't think we would take Drake May over. Uh... I don't know why we would take Drake May over Fields. Caleb over Fields makes a lot of sense. Get a good stretch in chat. You need. We're gonna be here for a little bit. In before Shang Chi, Shadow King. I'll get my water. I'll be right back. They never do the fast forward when they need to. Are you uh, worthy? Still going, huh? Hopefully this is the last one. I think it is. Are you worthy by the way? I sure hope so. Ooh. 
Ooh, so close. Almost had me. The only fast forward thing is the Modoc one where you actually <laughs> are supposed to pay attention. Victory. Pretty good turn. You swear the devs think Ironheart not fast forwarding is just funny? Nah, it's probably just really annoying to deal with. Probably just really annoying. Because they, they certainly would have gotten rid of it. It wasn't a nightmare to get rid of. That was a casserole, so true. Um... I don't mind our position at all. So some pretty good cards. We have their arguably best card. They certainly won't expect Odin. their second best card too. Uh we don't really have time to get Mobius to I might get Mobius next turn, we'll see. It's not my Hope Summers, it's theirs. This means Cyclops very likely lands here. Play there, it's weird. What are they? Oh, they must have Iron Heart. I don't know why else you'd call this. I was hoping for a small card, but this works. Iron Heart's very likely. I don't know why they would play out the Wong without it. Each Odin triggers triggers an instance. Yeah, and each instance isn't long enough. I, th I think that's probably true. Okay, good call out. Uh, now, do we think that they can beat a lot of power right? I think it's pretty likely. Because we can either just slam this Hulk or just play Odin. Odin wins all three lanes. It's hard to say no to. They shouldn't really have anything else that they can get with Wong. Let me just Odin right. Win all three lanes, profit. I'm just scared of just playing the Hulk if they just slam like uh, She Hulk something left. Jeez. Good snap, knowing that we just have a really good hand, I think. Like, knowing that we have Cyclops, which works really well. We still got a T3 sub. Yo, Arfie! Thank you so much for continuing your T3 sub. I super appreciate it. Two months. Thank you, thank you so much for joining the T3 initiative. We get a monthly hang. You get your name at the end of every YouTube video. Uh, unique Discord server. Lots of fun stuff, man. I really appreciate it. The new spider Ham variant? Yeah, I, I, I have that one. I think I got everything. I might have only used three. I don't remember. Yeah, and you get the golden, the golden pawn. I do have some good grilled cheese tips. Okay, Negasonic's bad. Let's see, get rid of the Valley of the Hand. Uh, I think we get Hope down. Cosmo, out early is good for us. Free Wong.
We just go Wong left. I think he's good here, especially with the Cosmo already gone. We're going to Magic Forest, which is great. Uh, probably snap worthy. Oh, snap. Sarah and Amobius, a bunch of stuff, just play everything. Leech? Oh, you bitch. It's okay, we, we, we get the Odin and the Ironheart, and we're fine. We simply just get the Odin and the Ironheart, and we're, we're still okay. Should have thought about Leech, though. I definitely know. For whatever reason, I thought they were a Spectrum deck. But uh, Leech... Leech Infinite makes so much more sense. And we're just going to get bailed out by Ironheart Odin, so it's cool. We'll just get bailed out. Hey, not letting him know you don't have Surfer? Ah, uh, probably, but, you know. Uh, if we win three lanes, we should be okay. But can we is the question. I don't think we can win three lanes. Nah, we can't win three lanes. Tough. Escaped. GG's. President Snap? Yeah. Kind of crushed us. I definitely should have thought about uh, thought about the leech. Like, if we would have played Surfer out, and then we would have top decked the Odin, we would have been perusing. But, sometimes you F up, chat. This is life. Um, we're gonna win White Hot Room almost certainly, right? This is what we sure got. everybody's a big fan. I could have like discard card and Ghost Rider, which hurts. We'll try. Yo, Rich the Fayman, thank you so much for this eight months. Poggy Woggy. Yeah, Negasonic on the leech, but I mean, it's just kind of a one and three. I don't even know if we had priority. We might have. I wasn't paying attention. Son of a bitch! Got all three of their one drops. What a piece of work. We still do this. Just in case they don't play left for some psychotic reason. If Leech is killed prior to turn six, is power still going to effect? No, isn't it? It wasn't. Uh, let's extend the game. We kind of need our full combo to win. <laughs> Go Sarah into like Wave Wong. We'll play Infinite. Uh, 
Uh, we don't have Odin or Surfer. Should probably leave. Yeah, let's just run. Even with full combo, it's going to be a bit of a toss-up, so just run. Server top decks often not enough. I think we win that game very often. Like the fact that they got all three of their one drops there is very unlikely on turn two. I think that's the three one drops they run in their deck. They had all three of them in the first five cards of their deck. Just super unlikely. So they're super unlucky. We had our best possible chance to win it, which is getting it on turn three with Brood and Quake. But that wasn't enough. When he blows his nose, he's super hot. Meta world. What if we magic there? Ooh. Do some nasty stuff over here. Just tough, you just have to deal with it. Uh, if we get Wong, we're absolutely crushing our opponent. Double Dark Dimension game. Okay. Uh, let's pretend Wong isn't real. I think. Always have Pryo. Probably just Surfer Odin, right? I don't see many other plays. Are they waving for them is bad. I think Surfer Odin isn't even that good. Even for them, it's probably not that big of a deal. Hello. They're gonna need help middle because we're gonna get a shit ton of power. Are ye worthy? Let's be either 18 left or 10 right. Both of which aren't that easy. Rude. Okay. They can have a Hella too? Oh boy. To me. Are ye worthy? Wait, oh uh, no. Jeez. Man, they just got everything, huh? They just had everything. Yeah, they have the nuts. If we had a Wong at some point, I think we were winning. Which always hurts. At some point, if we had a Wong there, I think we were, we were taking a W. Sarah would have been really helpful too. We'll float at the bottom of the deck. Any lab. Right. Uh, 
Pylon. Are they a, they're not a Thanos deck. Hmm. Get rid of this because we can't win it this turn. The Wong. Hmm. Put the Wong left, maybe? Probably have Shang-Chi. Psylocke and a Venom is very weird. Magic all the way across the sky. Let's get Mobius down. Uh, set up to get Surfer with like Brood Wave next turn. Figure it out from there. This might be a bot, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a bot. It's a big red skull, man. Praise they don't have counterplay. Five cost military. Shang-Chi middle gets us, but we just hope they don't have it, I guess. It's a cool-ass rocket raccoon, dude. Looks so serious. Why so serious? Is that a brand new variant that come out today or something? Yeah, pretty big broods. They're like 14. Pretty solid. Pretty, pretty solid. Wakers! Reality Stone. Okay. Kind of just like force Reality Stone here, but like they have, um, they have other outs. I was going to Reality Stone this if they have the chance. Now I might just Quake it. Force them to deal with it. Wrong place, buddy. They try and reality stone it, they'll miss, which is funny. If your dying wish to play against you and snap, it sucks, man. A weird dying wish. So we hope they try and reality stone now, and then we laugh and we laugh and we laugh. Didn't play any zeros with their black swan. I guess it doesn't matter. It's always zeroed. So we're kind of forcing reality stone here out of them. Is our is our game plan? Could we just negasonic. You have to get too cute with it. We just play like they're gonna play Reality Stone, I think. Unless they don't really dig into their deck much. Negasonic mid? What, what does that do for us? Just Sarah, and then we can just play everything? They're right, even. 
Still have a pop Negasonic. Get the Odin. Play our whole hand. Um, okay. Try and stop them from playing something extra middle. They move the vision, try and play something middle, it dies to the Negasonic. Then we win middle, and then we should win right and left. Uh, unless they have. I don't know what the hell they would do. They could figure it out if they want. I mean, they are psychotic for going for this. They played one card. Order? My order is perfect. Galactus? I mean, unless it's 27 power, I think we're going to be okay. Victory. Sarah Elysian games go friggin' nuts, man. I thought it'd be something, yeah, they just did, they chose to do nothing. It's crazy. Why would they stay in? Any ideas for Hope Summers in a super giant? Feel like it has potential? Um I maybe, I don't know. Uh yeah, I'll be starting a clan with the next patch for sure. Assuredly, we can join Team Binks. Um, okay. Not loving what we got going on here, but might magic left next turn? I don't, I don't really know. If we get Quake, if we top deck Quake, we won't mess with Starlight Citadel. If we don't get Quake, we might have to. The Black Bolt Pixel is hilarious. Yeah, what is going on? Just like a little sound wave. Ravana Cosmo. C3? Most likely, I think. I think we have to magic this. I, I, I don't want to deal with it. Certainly not ideal. The next turn we can Mobius and maybe Mobius Surfer into Odin or something? I, I don't know. You magic me, I magic you. Peace. I think we're kind of messed up here. Maybe we can get a quake. I think maybe we need to set up a quake. We need to hope to get a quake, I think. <laughs> now I'm guessing they must just be tribunal, right? The Mobius should help. I think we have to do like what else do we do? Ironheart, I guess maybe. We just Ironheart over a Surfer. Gives us more potential later. I am Iron Man. It's tough to beat, man. Kind of need a Quake top deck. Um, yeah, no Quake, we're in a lot of trouble. I think we just run. Cosmo here is very tough for us to do anything about. 
Like let, this turn we could have like Sura quaked and then like had a really cool setup to maybe get something to happen, but I think at this point we just run. We really needed the quake there to, to make something happen. Escaped. Hey, thumbs up me. What a piece. What a piece, man. Why would you thumbs up me there? I'm just I'm just vibing. Just having a good time. Try throwing priority left lane so you can surf on seven. Why does like throwing priority mean anything? Yo, Arfi! Thank you so much for the 10 gifties. Holy. The T3 and the 10 gifties? Oh my gosh. Get some Binks and Nux for Arfi. Thank you so much. Appreciate the unending support. Would an extra point of power make Negasonic that overpowered? I don't think so. I think you just keep her at two, though. She's very strong. Wait, is this the person? I think this person made Hikebot. I think this is the person who made Hiketron. Go Hope and a Mobius. You hate that you can't miss Marvel Thumbs Up. It was my favorite emote because of the sensitive snap community. It's seen as an a-hole if you do it. You're blaming the snap community for not being able to do something that you think is something that you want to do. Why are you blaming the snap community for that? It seems like you're the person who's sensitive to the response that you get more than anything. Uh, I think I want a magic here. <laughs> then we could like Sarah rock. Kind of cool. We're schmoving that monster around the board, man. They're just taking that monster on a little world tour. Okay. Yeah, I think that I really didn't like what Negasonic was like when she killed herself. I, I think that was kind of stupid. I, I like where she's at a lot right now. I think she's quite balanced. Steps! Welcome to the stream. Okay, turn two Quake might be able to help us out a little bit. Uh, I want it on curve. If we're playing a destroy deck, they probably play cards middle. Oh my gosh, she's so smart! How did he get that smart, chat? <laughs> ah, nyak, 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 nyak. Play to, play, to, play to potential lines. Ooh, Embassy Brood? And if I do... Oh, it's a bot too. We will pass because it's probably a bot. The only shield ninja now everyone will be with Mockingbird. Mockingbird. Okay, let's try and stay behind. Try and goad out a snap here. Thank you for the green goblin, it actually helps.
Thank you. Now play freely. These junk decks are a bit annoying though, because like they can kind of screw you. We'll have to play kind of aggressively. What's the reasoning for the opponent being a bot? What do you mean what's the reason? Uh well it's the fact that they have a very basic name. The the things that I could key in on there, basic name, basic ass avatar. Most people don't run like regular avatars. It's very rare. Uh, and then moving the Nightcrawler. They, they, they just move cards and just don't don't give a shit. It's kind of funny. Let's go Sarah. Uh, I don't even know if we need Sarah, if I'm being honest with you. Give them a Wongers. <laughs> also Scorpion? Scorpion's underplayed, man. Scorpion's not that bad. <laughs> I would argue Scorpion's a bit underplayed. Okay, we'll just play this out now. Get a million points. Keep giving our opponents stupid cards they don't want to play. Wind Storm! I didn't even play it on Limbo. Don't take pride of the bot may retreat. I just, I, here's what I've talked about this before. I just take wins, man. I try and get a four cube win. I don't try and uh, get into the position where I can get beat by an eight cube. It's just not worth it in my opinion. Uh, if they retreat, they retreat, that's okay. Maybe we just do this to just get ahead enough. I just I I I had so many problems in a recent season uh chasing bots for A cubes and it, it was not good. It, it just I, I lost a bunch of A cube games. Um it was it was just not fun in my opinion. Alright chat, uh we are gonna take a three minute break. Uh if you don't want to see the ads, you could pay five dollars. Uh, or you can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available. You can hit the subscribe button, toggle the Prime thing on mobile uh, or on desktop and see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription. You might have one available and you don't even know it, uh, which can help support the channel for free, which is really, really cool. Um, I actually have to go to the bathroom. It's been a full three hours. When we come back, we're going to switch over to a Pixie deck. Uh, so we're going to jump over to a Pixie Spectrum deck uh, that I built out here. And we're going to play about three hours of that. So we're going to have a nice long stream today. Lots of really great Pog uh, Marvel Snap content still coming for you. Uh, so come on back. I'll see you in three minutes. I need to go pee and everything like that. Uh, and I'll see you then. See you in three minutes. Uh, and I'll let you subscribers jam out to the uh, song because that was an awesome deck. How about that? Get some King games going. to the stream i hope you like the vibe if you're watching on youtube like and subscribe we're gonna play some games we're gonna clap some cheeks now be a good chatter and don't be a piece to the stream i hope you like the vibe if you're watching on youtube 
like and subscribe we're gonna play some games we're gonna clap some cheeks now be a good chatter and don't be a piece binks 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 and don't be a piece Good chair and not be a piece. Bigs. Oh, you do a great job of not being a piece, Harvey. Bigs. 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 Are these new drops? Are there drops right now? I don't know if there are drops. Bigs. I think there's drops, right? I hope you like the vibe. Bigs. I don't think there's drops. Like and subscribe. Bigs. No, there's no drops right now, right? I hope you like the vibe. Bigs. Bigs. The drops already ended. Like and subscribe. Crazy. Welcome back, ad enjoyers. Thank you for enjoying the ads. Means a lot. Oh, you're not back yet. Back soon though. I don't think there's drops right now, right? No ads on YouTube? Yeah, we love our no ads on YouTube. Well, there are ads. They just don't. <laughs> they go at different times, and they're mostly skippable. There are still ads on YouTube though. Uh, all right. This is the deck that we got going on. Uh, is a Pixie Spectrum. I think I'm going to get Wong in. I think we want Wong in the deck. Got Blue Marvel for Wong. I think we needed a little extra juice. We'll try this for now. Maybe we'll make some adjustments. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. I I'm really excited to, to try this out. Uh, that's a pretty big raid. Oh my gosh. What up, Daxter Raiders? Thank you so much for the raid, Dexter. Holy. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the massive raid, Dexter. I super appreciate it as always, my man. You guys don't know me. My name is Banks. I play different off-meta decks every single day. I was actually just gone for a whole week. Um, if you like, uh, I usually do late night streams uh, outside of Dexter's normal hours. So if you're interested in someone else to watch when Dexter's not around, uh, you can catch me here at usually at 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, super, super appreciate it. Uh, and also make sure to hit the follow button. Uh, Jason Miller, thank you so much for the Prime Arena. I appreciate it. Retreat? I'm not going to retreat. I, I haven't even started yet. Yogurt, son. Uh, oh, wait. Right now, we are we just played a Greed Surfer deck, uh, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the Greed Surfer deck is super cool. It has, like, Hope Summers and everything in it. Uh, but we're at, right now switching to a Pixie Spectrum list. This is what we got everybody really in sweet. Fan. I will play Bellatro again, yeah. I, I need to probably not play Bellatro this week to catch up on <laughs> Snap content. You're the only one who has less than five Infinity Avatars. Infinity Avatars are really hard to get, especially if you're not playing uh, super, super consistently. Uh, Subterranea is pretty annoying. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. My R, I wanted to play that, you piece of crap. We do have an Iceman for this Nexus, which is quite nice. Uh, Alexander Isaac, thank you so much for the gifted subscription. I super appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Time for Spectrum to be on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I mean, with with Nexus, you kind of expect it, right? Variants are so clean. Thank you. I have a lot of really good ones in this deck. Yeah, I've got the gold with the purple. This one is one of my favorites. It's got, like, the rockets moving around. Uh, this Wongers is really nice. This armor, I'm, I'm trying to get a better one because I don't love the purple, but... Pretty good. I will armor up middle. This might be a bot. I don't know what they're doing. Where's the hope? Ah, uh, yeah. Let me change that on YouTube. We, we just swapped decks. We just played three hours of hope. So you can rewind the VOD. This is what we got. Everybody's a big fan.
Uh, so we'll swap that on YouTube. I'm sorry if it still has the hope thumbnail, but we got everything else switched up. Can't get the spectrum variant anywhere. Nowhere. Um, the Wongers, right? Okay, chill, please, sir, chill. Iron Man. And hopefully we'll just have enough middle. I mean, they could um, they could play a uh, goblin here. Hmm, that hurts. Iron Man. I'm getting a lot of points back though. This is plus seven, which is plus fourteen. Wins us left. That's all that matters. They can move the Nightcrawler though. Is the problem. I think they can still move this. Do this then, right? This is scary. I don't remember if they moved the Nightcrawler or not. Oh, we just win. I guess they could have like Ironheart is scary. Gotcha. As long as we're winning left, we're okay. Not quite a casserole. I'm pretty sure it was a bot. Victory. We take those. Yo, Butt Squad! Thank you so much for the one month. Five months in a row. Let's go. Trying your hardest not to be a piece. You do a pretty good job. Unless we face each other in the ladder, then you usually beat me up. Pixie nowhere to be found, but we'll get you up to green. We'll bump you up a little bit there, Pixie. A weird game, but I think we're fine. I think as long as we're getting Pixie, like if we're drawing Pixie, this deck should go kind of crazy. Hello? Hello, my queen? Um, I can't play Pixie there. Let's do it anyway. And Triple M, so true. Uh, I don't think they're... I don't think Loki's very good against our deck, so let's snap. And we have Mobius. I think this is just about the best situation we can be in against a Loki deck. Makes it worth wasting your keys? Uh, I don't know. This is, <laughs> this is like the second time I've played the card. The last time I played it, the opponent retreated immediately. I don't really have a good answer for you. Stuck in the 90s, kind of tilting, but I'm taking a break. Eh, it's like day three, man. Or day two, day three. Just got to believe in yourself. Boop. Big Tony. Thank you so much for the cheer. Yeah, it's a bad swap, unfortunately. We don't get to choose our swaps. We have to start filling left. Mobius is really nice for us. That is a damn good card, man. Holy, that is a good card. Uh, we can still play Sarah next turn if we so choose. Get the Wongers out. Our Spectrum should be swapped with something. So we'll see. Might just be Prof X, which would kind of suck, but we can make it work. Just get our Sarah down. It doesn't help with any of the cards in hand, which kind of sucks, but if we get Spectrum, even it's like five or something like that. If this was six, right? Is this five or six? Does it tell me? 
Why don't you tell me? It's actually really annoying that it doesn't tell me. Why doesn't it tell me? I just have to remember? It was five? Okay. Moon girl. Could be kind of spooky. Wow. That is really bad. Where's Lost, huh? That's seven, that might be enough. But I'm guessing they're gonna do like Moon Girl stuff or um, whatever you call it. I think we have to run. Can we go for like this, get to 10? Uh, let's try. I mean, we should leave, but it's early in the deck. Let's let's give it a, let's give it a go. Where's Wonka with this deck? Spectrum, of course. A lot of cards. I am Iron Man. Couple Mysterio with the Bishop. It's quite funny. Uh, we lose no matter where it is. There's also two of them. Jeez. Oh, uh, we should have left there, but we were just staying in just to give in. Uh, I think staying in early with a brand new deck is, is kind of important. Maybe we didn't really learn anything from that, so we should have left. Why Quinja? It's a one cost ongoing card. Be a little bit scary, but um, you can mitigate some of the risk. We're gonna go like a profex there or something. There's Spectrum. Mobius next turn. Probably try and play a profex there on five. What's next? Sarah! Oh my gosh, dude. Nightmare. Iron Man sucks now. Twenty two power hobgoblin, huh? Uh, well, I think this is a Galactus and a half, so we'll probably just run. Escaped. No worries. A little bit slow so far with this deck, but um, it's quite draw dependent. I think this is definitely a deck where you have to be pretty smart with where you snap and everything. Hey, we got the pixie. Probably snap worthy. Spectrum left with pixie is pretty crazy. We could start trying to load up one lane so that everything lands in the same spot. We draw another giant card, it feels really bad. Like if we get Iron Man or Professor X here, it kind of feels terrible. The first deck went great, man. We went from 73 to 88, I think. Uh, now there were every four games you you face bots is is what it seems like happens. Uh, we'll still play the pixie there. And Adam Warlock, so true. What could go wrong there. 
Yeah, Pixie's very much a Mr. Negative type card, 100%. landed anywhere else and it would have been fine. I guess it's a 50-50. We can go double Sarah. We'll have some we'll have some plays. You ever see bots past the 90s? Uh you get some past the 90s for sure. Just quite a bit less. Played 13 games earlier starting 73 phase zero bots. Ooh, I hate to tell you this but I don't, don't think that's correct. I mean, that's a lot. Probably just going to lose that. But, we have some plays of our own. Now, do I think that they can beat double, a uh, double 20 power card left? Probably not. But maybe we get a one cost Wong here. And then who knows what could happen. I don't know if this wins, but I'm going to play it anyway. I kind of doubt it. But it's a lot of power. Some would say it's enough power. <laughs> Holy! It is not often you can beat that play, Chad. I, I tell you what. And it didn't do the math at all. It is not often you can beat that. Yeah, only, only beating quadruple 20 power blades. You think it would be enough? You'd think that wouldn't be enough. It's probably a bot, Wyatt, with the classic Chavez avatar. Uh, we'll start locking down the left. Just fill it with cards. We have Wong Spectrum, which is very nice. No Pixie in sight, but that's usually okay. Okay, long as five now. Maybe we get a Mobius. Hey, hello. Ah, dude, this this new Mobius is so good. Look at how cute he is. Sorry, peace. Even with just long spectrum, we should we should kind of win. It's an easy way to tell if it's a bot. There's a lot of different um, factories. So maybe we shouldn't have snapped while winning there. Only winning by one point. I don't know. GG or conflict? They have any blades? Yeah, I, I didn't do the math. I was just like, all right. Well, I got a one. <laughs> I got a very cheap Iron Man. It's probably like a lot. Yeah, GG's. That is that is tough to uh that is a tough thing to beat. Qu quadruple quadruple twenty <laughs> indestructible twenty power cards is not the easiest uh, selection of cards to beat. Snap. OBS on two. It's 
probably a lot I say before mashing and turn it out. I was it was. I mean, it's just like it's a lot of points. I could I could sit here and waste y'all's time by like counting through every single, every single like monochrome of of, of what could happen. Or you could just say F it, we ball and just send it. Always with Lysium is, is very insanely rude, yeah. Hey, dude. It could have Cosmo in this deck, so this Wong hurts. If we're not ahead, we might have to not play it there. This Sarah's fine. We'll pass, huh? Yeah, I don't, did they think they could play Infinite or something? I wonder if they thought they could play Infinite. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was weird. Oh yeah. Also, like, why are they floating for She-Hulk? Why would they be floating for She-Hulk there? I do, I do not know. She-Hulk doesn't even reduce. People out here being Mobius blind? It happens to the best of us. Mobius is really good right now. I think Mobius should be in a lot of decks. And I just have to be running a Surfer deck and a Spectrum deck, both of which really like Mobius. But Mobius just feels crazy strong. I'm trying to get Spectrum. So next time I just play Mobius, let's just kill the Ravona then. That's fine. Could Jean Grey in the deck mess up their plays? It messes up my plays too, though. That's always been the problem with Jean Grey. Okay, Howard, give us your last bit of intel. Armor. Armor's great. Armor's really good for us. We just play Armor and Men left and always win that lane. Uh, let's see. It. We just go like. Iron Man somewhere, Spectrum somewhere. Oh, they get two as well. Okay. 50 50 flip if they have Shang-Chi causes some issues. Uh, but we have Pryo, that's really nice. This is often enough, right? It's not always enough. Hmm. Why won't the duck talk to me anymore? Why not Echo instead of the duck? Because Echo doesn't have the word ongoing on it. Well, it does have the word ongoing on it, but not, not how we want it. I don't know if this is safe enough. It adds 8, which will be 12. They can still get over the top, though, which is scary. I think we still do it. Uh, no need to pixie here. I don't think fighting for right is smart. Maybe it is. Maybe we just go Iron Man right, Spectrum right. Gets us to... this will be one, this will be eight. Plus two, we'll get to 22. That might not be enough. Let's just go all in the middle. We just have to hope that they can't add 12 points left. Let's put a second Ant-Man in your deck instead of Quinjet. So true. Pull for Pixie if you don't have MM. Is, aren't they both in the same thing? You can get both.
It's 16 left. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Now they certainly don't. <coughs> So we'll add four, eleven. Fifteen. Any car they play left will beat us. Man, I think we just lost. Go for it. That's tough. Shuffling their own cards themselves needs to be fixed. Yeah. Mad Gento incoming? Where do they play that? Right? You insist. I don't really know what that does for them. Maybe they thought they were moving armor or something. 90! Let's go! You know what that means. Up to rank 90. Holy crap, dude. We are smoking up the ladder. Let's get a little dance off going. Let's go, dude. 90 already. That's so fast. Welcome to the stream. I hope you Maybe we'll get infinite in one day, man. Watching on we still have like two and a half like hours and left. Subscribe. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good chatter and don't be a piece. Likely get early Sarah here. I hope you like the vibe, Binks. Very likely for us to get early Sarah. Binks. Binks. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Or not early Sarah. That's fair too. Let's try and go Ravona and then go like Jin. If you're watching on YouTube, go like Jin, Jin, We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. And now figure it be out. a good chatter and don't be a piece. Binks. Oh, it doesn't tell Binks. you the change. Binks. And we have Spectrum. Binks. 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 And hasn't done anything. Be a piece. Jefferson? There was Spider-Man point two at the beginning of games. I hope you like the vibe. Big things. Big things. Big things. Okay. Wish you were cheaper, but beggars can't be choosers. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Big things. Big things. I don't know how we're winning another lane Binks. is the problem. Binks. Arthur Duck would be too OP if they told her cost change. Uh, I think you're wrong, but you're allowed to think that for sure. I hope you like the vibe, Binks, Binks. Oof. Like and subscribe, Binks, Binks. I hope you like the vibe, Binks. Massive Binks. oof. Like and subscribe. We have Wong. Can we Wong Spectrum? I guess it depends on what the Wong does. Might get Wong Spectrum here. Uh, depends on how small the Wong is. Do you have anything that came up as a four cost? 
We don't know how much the Wong is going to be. Wong Spectrum might be enough. Ugh. What, what did you even do, Pixie? Did she even change the cost of any of my cards? I feel like every card I drew was the same. Am I crazy? Was every card the exact same cost when I drew it? Escaped. Every cost stayed the same? That's, that sucks, man. Spectrum was five? No, that was because of uh, Sarah, right? Oh, no, you're right. Spectrum was five. Okay. Let's go in in middle. Uh, we have Pixie Mobius. So we, we should be snapping. Pix is a less consistent Mr. Negative. No, I mean, there's a chance that's just true, but there's there's a lot of differences with Pixie, right? Pixie's a 2 1 versus a 4 negative 1. That's plus 2 power, minus 2 cost. That's incredibly relevant. That's uh, very relevant. Minus 2 power, or plus 2 power, minus 2 cost is crazy, right? Um. But also, uh, Mobius the downside, which is really good. Wind, aid my hand. There's some benefits there. One drop, please. We eh. still do Pixie. Yeah, we have a really good spread. Let's Pixie. The negative is always good, you know what you get? I I mean, I agree, right? But I'm saying that there's positives and negatives. You can't just say it's a worse negative, right? I think that that's an unfair assumption based on the card. I think that that is a, um, that's a bad way to think about it. I am a. Now, I haven't played around with the card to feel how good it is, though. But Pixie can work at a lot more things and be a lot more fluid. Yeah, I should have played the... Okay. Well, I was going to say, maybe I should have played the Wonk. Fuck, <laughs> you fucking asshole. Can I get some pink hand... Pink hand, uh... <laughs> Didn't matter where I played the Wonk. Uh, I never had a choice, man. It appear I was doomed from the start. I'm trying to set up for a potential Spectrum win, right? Even though I know all these cards are losing. I'm, I'm aware. Don't worry, chat. I'm aware that I'm getting pink handed. This is a purposeful pink hand. Setting myself up for potentially having an out with, like, Top Tech Spectrum. Bro, what, what are you doing, Pixie? Pixie doesn't do anything. That was an Echo Snipe, yeah. P Pixie doesn't do shit, man. Uh, we lose to Doom, but we'll play it out. Beat most other things. Yeah, we'll play. Doom rules all. Thought Echo only worked once? Why? I 
I'm sure it says on the card, Fix doesn't do shit. Uh, dude, like the last two games, she hasn't done anything, man. She got us the one cost Iron Man the one time. Well, we'll just keep playing around. Keep playing around with it. I don't think the deck needs much changing. Is it a bug? I don't think it's a bug. Probably a lot easier to code than making sure it gets a new value because otherwise they have no... Yeah. Well, I think that they're also scared to... Like, they don't really like when Mr. Negative is one of the best decks, I feel. So maybe they're being... Um, they're trying to be a bit safe. Um... Go here. Play one drop armor left next turn. Oob. Ongoing card? Not an ongoing card. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we just have to not fear Skillmonger. We can go like Quinjet, uh, Ant Man, next turn Wong Middle, maybe Sarah left or something. We could like Armor Right, Double Spectrum. Insanely rude. Also, Quinjet value, by the way, for a card we're not going to play. If we can get to Spectrum, I think we're fine. We're not getting to Spectrum. Could still be fine. What does this look like? Is he even good? Nine, eighteen. And then we go Glaive Armor, right? Glaive Armor Pixie, right, or something? What does this look like? This adds uh, plus four, minus one. This adds three. I think it's to ten. What? Maybe they just play big card left? There's a chance they just play big card left. close Oop. they'd like swap this and this maybe we had them some hope for this deck i mean I, I think that we're we're hurting a little bit we did just get to um why are you in my hand you piece or come to hell with me by the way all the quinjet doubters i do like pixie she's pissing me off a lot 
I feel like I have a deck that's built to really take advantage of her and she is not doing anything, uh, which is not ideal. I think a replacement for Howard? Uh, probably like a two cost ongoing. The only other one cost ongoing is Ebony Maw now and Ebony Maw is just pretty bad. Curating when she misses, incredible when she hits. Yeah, it's the like Quinjet is District X tech. Man, I should think of like a million different lies to explain why Quinjet's in the deck, because people ask me it every every day. Every time I ever use Quinjet in a Spectrum deck. No, huh? Isn't that neat? Alright. I don't think I want to play that card. But if we get the dinosaur down, we could go like Colson into Grandmaster. Why does even Pixie even allow cards to shuffle their own card costs? I don't know, man. It's probably for like dev re it's probably dev reasons. Would be my guess. Like developmentally, it's it's hard to, to not do it that way. Do my best guess. Snow guard. Or. Could just Sarah here, but we don't like we don't really have a lot of good shit to follow up Sarah. We could just rip an Odin. Might just be our best play and fight for multiple lanes. Bolt Grandmaster? They have seven cards in their hands. It's like, it's not that effective. Ah, oh, they got my Sarah. I think we just have to hope that they can't do anything about this because they could do something about this we just lose it's the most points we could play bolt it's like <laughs> just bolt Colson GM left. I mean, what does that do for us? How does that win us the game? We just lose if they play anything middle. Maybe we just have to hope they can't kill this. And that they can't play eight power middle. Oh. Oh, man, they beat us by one! Well played. Lost because of Grandmaster. Oh, because it gets plus two. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Sag. I didn't even think of Grandmaster as a move card. That's a great point. Hate to see it. Good hand. Very good hand. I admit it at least. I admit all of my mistakes. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually very clearly admit any time I, uh, I mess stuff like that up. I think it's important. Opium? I really do then. 
Can you come up with a new reason Quinjet is in the deck? Uh, it's playing around uh, Hub Hub Helicarrier Camp Lehigh Sif. Just in case we get that, it's pretty good. You know what I mean? It really helps in case that exact thing happens. My opponent has Domino in their deck. Um, Prof X. I just play this right? I guess I can go Wong into like Prof X Mobius is probably better. actually scary. Yeah, we get a shit ton of power, right? It's like 9 plus 8. I think we have to do this. 9 plus 8 is too good to pass up. It's very scary, though. Both middle was correct. It's tough, man. Maybe going middle was right. I think it's a bit of a toss up. He just lost four to a bot. That sucks. Yeah, maybe Profex and Mobius middle was smarter. I think that was a smarter play. I don't know if Spectrum Middle was the right play, though. I think Spectrum Middle was wrong. Obviously, like, uh, contextually, it, it would have won that game, but I, I still don't think it was the right choice is just as important. Abby. Mm. Sucks. I would have liked to get the Abby. But there's nothing you can do. Uh, Profex middle should be very strong. Profex middle should be quite strong. Okay. They are ahead. They didn't snap, though. A bit unfortunate. Oh, what a terrible Sarah. An awful turn to get Sarah. <laughs> uh, their play is either Spectrum or Destroyer. Uh, we should be both. Victory. Pixie got us a one cost Iron Man. Uh, when, we absolutely, when, it, when it had nowhere to go, man. We're so bad. 
I'm wondering if like what changes I should make to this deck. Or or if I just shouldn't freak out and make changes. And you're just kind of like based on like pixie high rolls. A lot of it's probably de determining when to snap and when to retreat. My armor. Okay. Pixie next turn is nice. I feel like this deck struggles to go wide. I mean, it should attack two lanes pretty consistently. Angel Gaming! Did we get two bots in a row? Are we getting two bots in a row? Okay, get all of our Nora Dimension stuff. Pixie everything. It's three in a row? Maybe when you lose to a bot, it like feels bad for you. Like, I'm sorry, man. Uh, I didn't touch the duck. Sir. Uh... It's definitely a two lane deck. It's certainly not a three lane deck. For better or for worse. Off. Off's not great for us. We go Professor X onto this lane and then like however many Jins we need to play. We do get discounts on the Jins, it's true. This is what we sure got. everybody's a big spin. Yo, Tucker! Thank you so much for the four months. Super appreciate it, buddy. Can you shout out for Tucker? Go watch Tucker, man. Tucker makes some cool shit. We don't get Wongers. Winning right is going to be hard. But we do get Wongers. Uh, do we only play one in fear of Goblin? I don't know if this deck runs Goblin. I think we only need one, right? This would be five and then four. Or three, five and three. It'll be eight. We only need one. Just in case. Just in case of Goblin. I did have some good time off. Yeah, it was great. Okay. Stone. I hate Pixie, dude. I fucking I hate this card. I hate this card chat. We're gonna play destroyer and win. 
Pinter works on pixie cards? No, we have Sarah. You're just gonna play destroyer and win, man. Maybe not. Maybe they just lose. Okay. Second death? Uh, it doesn't work like that. Can't play a card in Moon Girl. Let's go. I mean, I'll, I'll take some hype for beating bots. I try. I usually don't get very hyped when I beat bots. But I'll take a little hype. I'll take a little Tucker hype. Four cubes is four cubes, though. The pixie making that not work hurt my soul, though, man. The pixie making that not work really hurt my soul. I'm not. I'm not gonna pretend like it didn't. The pixie making me not be able to Wong Wong Spectrum really hurt. Yeah, I, th I think that people saying pixie bad like crazy are are probably just correct. What did she do that game? She made my Wong go from four to five cost to make it so that I couldn't uh, Wong Wong Spectrum on the final turn. You know, just normal shit. Don't worry, this time of course she'll work. We actually have a really good setup. We have a 1-1-2 one, one, and then a 4-5-6. The Pixie has a lot of good cards. A lot of good hits here. Uh, case in point, not too shabby, eh? Uh, next turn, we're, uh, we're going to hope they can't do whatever Ghost Rider this turn. And then next turn, we're going to try and Profex, uh, Profex Sarah left. Okay. We should have priority, which should be able to stop it. Crazy. They can try and play um, Ghost Rider left, but it won't work. Uh, and they could send the Void over, but I mean that sucks. But we just we just take it. Order? Oh, lol. That would have been really bad. Uh, we don't have the the juice, right? We don't have the juice. Uh, we're adding 12. I don't think they should ever be able to beat that, right? They discarded Infinite. I guess Hella Right wins. Oh, don't do it to me. I don't think these decks run Hella. Okay, good. Big A-Cuber. No one expects the Spectrum, chat. No one expects the Spectrum. Victory. Favorite part about Pixies me Garrett Baron Motor yourself? Yeah. The the other thing that's kind of weird about um Spectrum the Spectrum. No one's Spectrum's the Spectrum. Did I say that out loud? Did I, or did someone just, did I say that out loud? Dude, my mind's all fricked up, chat. All right, we're going to run through it to ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5. You can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available by clicking the subscribe button, checking the Prime toggle. Uh, we won't play games while you're gone, which is really exciting. 
you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow, man. Why not Long Spectrum? Because we don't have infinite energy. It looks like we can, but that's just because the Mobius discounted our Wong. Uh, we'll see you all in three minutes. See you soon. Trust me, I surely would have if I could. All right, chat, let's do... Let's do some Gamba. We love Gamba here. Uh, we can go for another Wong split. We have two really juicy Wong splits already, though. I don't see that to being super necessary. Spectrum, we unfortunately... Oh, wait, dude, we need to... I forgot that we have this, dude. I forgot that we have the God Split Spectrum. All right, let's waste gold. I'm not going to wait until this gets boosters. I need to show this off immediately. Uh, so this is going to be the sixth split. We're just going to get it to infinity because I think it's going to look gorgeous at infinity border. Uh, this is going to be the, it's like the seventh split or something that we have on this, but we're finally going to get a unleash our God split spectrum from when I won the tournament. Very exciting. Uh, we're going to run a prediction. We're going to get a banger split or not. You have a minute. So I'm going to go and take a quick break. Uh, but let's see what this freaking looks like, man. Don't look at this. Don't. This is terrible. Never do this, by the way. Never spend gold for boosters. Infinity. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh. It's beautiful, chat. It's so unbelievably pretty. All right, I'll be back in 30 seconds and we'll do it. You guys are newer to the scene you don't know this is actually the most coveted variant in the whole game the only people who have this variant are people who voted for me or dara in the first conquerors tournament oh my god that might be better that might be better dude holy i think the white will look better I don't know, we're still rocking the gold, which is exciting. I think this might end up being better. We're definitely not going to pay for the boosters to get it, but pay out the believers. Holy. Oh, so pretty. The white is crazy, dude. The white is crazy. White is more rare. I don't th I think the gold is rare. I'm almost certain the gold is rare. I think all of them are the same, and then gold, rainbow, black, and um, I think gold, rainbow, and black have a, a higher rarity. I think. I might be wrong. Maybe white is really high. Oh. Okay, Quinjet to Pixie. Not bad. What's also good about Quinjet is it makes our opponent think we're a Loki deck. We're not. Uh, we'll get the Pixie going. We'll get a double Sarah, which is really nice for us. Oh, we'll probably snap on the Pixie. D double Pixie? Not gonna double the Pixie chat. Boop. 
I might have Mobius though. But just double Sarah right now? It's pretty damn good, man. Unless they Mobius us, if they Mobius us, then you know, we look really silly. If you double Pixie with Mobius, you get the lowest of all the randomized costs. If you double Pixie with Mobius. So you Pixie once, and then all in your deck, all the cards that are bad go back down, and then you Pixie again. That's pretty cool. You don't think that's true, though? What if it is, though? Double Moon Girl. All the way across the sky. Um, what the hell do we do here, man? Do we just prof? Prof right seems okay. We'll be able to make up the points with spectrums. Land left, please. Thank you. That's yeah, pretty bad for our opponent. Still have to find a second lane to win, which is a little hard. Ah, no, it's not. I change. I change my mind immediately. It is not hard at all, actually. It's in fact very easy. <laughs> I completely change uh, my opinion there. Maybe I hold it. I hold it, right? Yeah, I definitely hold it. I definitely hold it. Uh, the only reason not to hold it is Mobius. Their deck probably runs Mobius, right? Because Mobius just loses me the game. I, I think I play it now. I, I think not playing it now is short-sighted. I think it's short-sighted. I am Iron Man. I am Iron Man. I just don't think it's worth it to hold it there. They might full float. Full float's probably their best play. But I think we beat full float. I like quite a bit. I snapped already, chat. Everyone chill out. I snapped on turn two. When you're supposed to snap. They always leave here? They might full float. They can just pass. If I could snap again, I would chat. I, I can't though. I did snap. I think it was turn one, actually. It was turn one or two. Both floats their best chance of winning, but we're, we, we still beat it by quite a bit. Excuse me. Yo, Alex Newell. Thank you so much for the T3. Joining the collective, I super, super appreciate your continued support, Alex. What the hell, double Jeff? If it's Cosmo, we lose? They had to triple Jeff. If they triple Jeff, I think they won. Nah, they didn't. Ooh, thank you so much, Alex, for the continued support. Looking forward to speaking with you at our next hang. We'll keep upgrading this as we get boosters. I, th I think that magnets boosters to it. I don't, I don't know how the booster magnets work. I think it's a lie. It's a fatty Cassie roll. Fatty Cassie roll there.
No respect for the spectrum. No one ever respects the spectrum, man. Any replacements for Howard? Um, like a two cost ongoing is probably fine. Howard's really good in the deck though, but a two cost ongoing is probably just okay. Uh, we're chilling, big chilling. Jet is core. Yep. Fortunately for our opponent, I think I have Mobius. I think it's more important to Mobius than pass. You pass next turn. Quinjet is for District X, so true. I have the Spectrum. I think we play this left, this middle. And just try and win with Spectrum, maybe. It's gonna be close. But I think we should have the power up at the beat it. Just depends on what they can get left. Nothing. Ain't nothing ain't no how. Look at us. All systems go. That makes things harder. So the only thing they can play adds three, which goes to six, which gives them twenty eight. This gives me Plus 10, plus 6, to 29. Wait, I think we just win, right? Because all their cards are 3. Unless it's Hit Monkey. But if they're going to Hit Monkey, they probably play it right. This gets us to 29. We actually get plus 11, plus 6. We get 17. We get to 30. Messed up. Damn. It's tough eight to lose. I think we have the right idea though. That Mysterio was basted, we won. So we had the top tech in the last two turns. Tough loss. Played on the right? I, you never win if you played on the right. Always lose. No, no shot that playing it right would ever win. That was our best chance. Uh, we just, uh, we, I mean, it's a very hard thing to play around. Uh, we were just hoping that whatever card they would play middle would end up being Bastet and it wasn't. It's unfortunate. Okay, they definitely have Skillmonger. Just bad. No armor in sight. Also bad. Extra Lake Hellas value, so true. Um, maybe we can get to Professor X over there. Maybe I don't know, man. I don't know if we'll have time. Very tough game to win. They play Killmonger uh, at any point. <laughs> it's 
they probably will. Charred Killmonger. Okay. They must have Killmonger right now, right? Maybe they're just Sarah, though. Decent chance they're just Sarah. They're top deck. I think we just run. I went a second lane. I was gonna like Iron Man right and then like armor left, Quinjet Pixie right. <laughs> was the thing. I don't think that was gonna win though. Fairly certain that would have lost. Pixie working a negative deck? I don't think you'd run both. Maybe you think about it as a backup, but probably not. They were just going to Cosmo the Wong? I mean, I don't why do you think they have Cosmo that tech? Kind of unlikely. A lot of cards to fit in. Okay, Pixie's nice. Armor up over here. Nobius. How rude. Okay, yeah, let's get our Pixie. Hope we high roll. We have a very good setup for Pixie. Four, five, six, two, one, one. That's a nice one to get. For top deck. Ravona, I think we just grip it and rip it. And then snap. We probably play the Iron Man because we don't want them to have it. Yeah, this hand sucks ass. We get Ant-Man next turn, it's pretty nice. Enjoy your 6-3 Ravona, 3-3 three, three Pig, and a Professor X. None of these cards help the middle, like, at all. Yeah, they're gone. They gone! Victory. Our play was probably Mysterio middle, Ant-Man left, Hitmonkey right. Probably. Echo is not ongoing. A lot of people think Echo is ongoing, but she's not. Pixie Duck. Just rip, rip it and rip it. Bless you. Thank you. The 28 keys. Should you open for Pixie? Probably, yeah. Victory. 28 keys can kind of like carry you to have every new card for like three months. Takes on average, what, two and a half? Two and a half keys per. So that's like 10 a month. They should be fine for three months to just get every card if you so choose. Might be a bot here. I 
Double Ravona isn't that good. I go double Wongers. Four Spectrum Triggers is pretty nice. Uh, let's play Ant Man Middle. Go Ant Man into Wong, into Wong Ant Man into Spectrum. There's a bit of power on the Wong, but I think we're fine. We just hope that they don't have any counterplay. Uh, they are winning, so let's snap. Oh yeah, we even have discounts. Forgot that we have discounts. We even top deck like Howard here. See that they changed the variance for killing the spotlights? I did not. Just loses, we simply cry. That's pretty good. They made it to clear their hands so that the Dracula doesn't trigger. Kind of pong. I guess it still gets the calling wing. Thank you, Bot, for the eight cubes. Victory. Shoot you. Good thing they cleared their hand for Draco. Yeah, they're just playing ahead, man. They're just they're, they're they're thinking several levels ahead of us. Taco Schnauzer. Taco Schnauzer. That's a great name. Welcome to the stream. Best of luck to you. I hope that I win, but I hope that you have fun. Bula? Nebula usually means we don't have to worry about Skillmonger. Let's armor up our Howard. I don't, I don't want anything to die middle. I. We win Wrath next turn. Unfortunate. Start pressuring it though. Pressuring it is always good. We might snap here even. Snapping here is good. Turns Mobius Ant Man. It could be. It could be magicking, right? There's always a chance. We should get access to the raft, which is very important. I am Iron Man. Could be getting leeched. There's always a chance we're getting leeched, which sucks, but I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, so. Wongers right on time. Maybe we need the extra power right then. How do they leech and then win? Hmm. I don't think they can leech and win. I'm pretty sure they can't leech and win.
Double left. Usually one card per turn, Marty's here. Usually just playing one card here. Get plus six middle, so we're ahead. Plus 17 left, we're ahead by quite a bit. And a million right. Oh, so close. Unfortunately, sir, you just got casseroled. I like your name though, Taco Schnauzer. Never change your name. It's a great name. Nobody expects Spectrum? I'm telling you, man. It's a hidden card. You can play... You can play out... <laughs> I think every card I played had ongoing, right? I don't think I played a single non-ongoing card that whole game. And they still didn't expect Spectre. Um, only a man left. Just be safe. Rude. We'll get a Mobius to take care of that. Mansion, gotta go middle. Unex Spectrum. Very Unex Spectrum. That could be the name of the deck. A oh, wound. Alright, dude. And we're gonna go Quinjet left, Iron Man left, Wong middle, Spectrum middle. I just hope it's enough, and I hope they don't have any counters. Just hope they just let me do whatever I want. I am Iron Man. He is Iron Man, by the way. Uh, let's snap before this wand comes down. The wand does make people think Spectrum. Might be the only thing. scared. Unscared. We get to um, 21 middle. Spooky chair. I'm pretty sure it's Kitty Task, which is just 10. It's a little half baked for the road. Victory. A little half baked Cassie for the road. What are why people are playing Kitty Shuri? It must be Hope, right? Hope is making people play Kitty Shuri, which is kind of cool. I, I like the Kitty Shuri deck, I thought it was very fun. It's a very fun deck to play. He, they could kitty and test men. It's true. They could do that. Why is it half baked when it's clearly two thirds baked? I don't know, man. I don't have a great answer for you. Oh, that's that. I guess if it Professor X's were kind of it. Maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. You don't think the extra energy benefits that deck that much? Really? Yeah, early Sarah's good.
Broad is probably 100% picked. Uh, decent setup. We have most of our big cards, but let's just shuffle everything else. Uh... Rudin? How dare you have access to your whole deck? Okay. Let's go Ravona right, Iron Man right, Prof X right, Spectrum somewhere. We're gonna be okay. I mean, we could actually legitimately play Ravona into like Iron Man Professor X next turn. That's the worst that could happen, right? Profex's middle, am dude. Iron Man. Profex's middle goes crazy. Iron Man. Profex's middle. Profex's middle. Oh. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare. Can't win left. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. It's Mobius. Stop the death. How do I win left? Wong could cost one, so I pass for one cost Wong. I think that is correct. Pass for one cost Wong. I guess we'll just see. You could fart it on. Pretty rare to have fart. Yeah, we just gotta run. They have like Deadpool Venom, Deadpool Venom Knoll. We just lose, right? We needed that Professor X middle. That was the correct line or not? I'm not sure. Hey, okay. Morbius Dream Dimension is really good. Kind of like most of what we need. I feel like even if we don't get Spectrum, we're still kind of okay here. Snap. snap. Did uncheck off my Ravona. These little stinky kids. Stinky little kids. Okay. Gave us extra time. We appreciate the extra time. Um, let me just do like something like this. Let's load up over here. Figure it out later. Next turn, Sarah. 
Okay, let's see if they know how to play Shuri properly. It'd be funny if they didn't. Uh, they're always playing left if they can, so let's go uh, Profex right while we know that we can secure it. That crushes everything that they're trying to do. Which is Iron Man, Spectrum, Middle. I, there's just no way they get over top. It's just so unlikely they can beat this. Big Venom Monch. Not even gonna think about calculating, it's just so many points. It's like 26 they have to beat, I think. Get more than 26 points. Go Spider to Galactus, if they do that, I will, I will happily lose the game and tell them that they're sick. Zola is less than 26. Victory. If they go Spider and Galactus, I will just happily take the loss. Very good game. Very good game. Cheap. Everything's cheap. Everything's on sale. It's Howard to get a peek into the deck. Nice. Who? What's next? Iron Man. It's a good card. Um, let's start to spread our attack out just in case of Galactus. Zabu. Get our Wong down. Didn't touch the duck. Sarah. Just load up here. Play Sarah right, then whatever we top deck and uh, that on Wong. I think loading up right is fine. Rip our spectrum right. World where that's good. Just play Sarah into it's like a fart enthusiast. And how do they deal with Spectrum right? Let's to 13. Play something pretty big right. Next time we can just Mobius Sarah. Maybe it would Doom on 6, but then how do they win middle? Play a big card middle this turn. Okay, 
Okay, maybe we're cooked. Not sure. I think this is better than Sarah Wright into like trying to go like Spectrum Mobius. Victory. Everyone's saying that they have a way to beat it. Everyone thinks they could beat it except for our opponent. How do they fart on six? How do they get ahead and fart on six? It's pretty hard. If they had four power, they had more than five power right and more than five power middle. It's not super easy. They could just rip the Doom there. The Doom only adds four middle and it would only tie and then we'd win tiebreaker. So the Doom doesn't even give them prio. Getting prio for them was very hard. Miss Marvel doesn't tie mid. Uh, they get minus one power. It's only three power middle. They get Miss Marvel and like Lizard or something. But certainly not easy. <laughs> Lots of ways to get to altar. You probably should have just played Pixie and altar, right? Wait, why wouldn't we play Pixie and altar and just get an early Sarah? Much better play. Raw dog to swarm. Next turn is Profex, Ant Man Middle. Oh, I guess it's just Beast. They have Pryo too, so they can't do anything I cheeky. Nice to give them Pryo here. to Sarah. Left might be hard to beat, depending on what they play. What the heck? Modok left probably beats us. Yeah. Enough said, Bob. Definitely beats us. Mm. Very close. Very close to not working for them. Would have played Pixie middle, we would have been fine. L literally this whole game down to not playing Pixie middle. Pixie Middle would have won us the game for sure. What a loser. Pixie Middle was the big difference there. Pixie Middle into early Sarah would have cooked. It's tough. Tough loss. Rickety. We have all of our big cards in our hand. I Not ideal for sure. Lantus. Hurt people, hurt people. So true. Okay, we have a bot.
Pixie value pog. Maybe just go here and then play everything right. Like here, here, then like Wong, Iron Man, Sarah, right? <sighs> I don't know. It's a little dubious. It's not. Let's play the Iron Man middle. Might be overkill, but. Hopefully you get a snap back from him. Yeah, what, probably a two cost ongoing card. Um, if you don't have Pixie though, I wouldn't run this deck. That deck's kind of built around Pixie. I, I would, I would not. This deck is built around Pixie with so many high cost cards. Play so for Howard, you can just play at two costs ongoing. With the bot plays Heimdall, then we win. Even more than we're already winning. Victory. Howard is great. It's nice knowing what you're going to ha have. All times. Yeah, there are no other one cost ongoing cards except for um except for Ebony Maw, which is pretty terrible. Not being able to play them on six. Now, if you make a version of this deck with like War Machine in the future, maybe it's a little different. Yo, Joe True, thank you so much for gifting the community sub. I appreciate you. Is always this easy for me to climb? Um, it's a tough question to answer. It's certainly been a lot easier. Um, certainly been a lot easier after um, I hit it the first time. I usually climb pretty consistently in like a few days. Dream Dimension? Fuck you, dude. Oh my gosh. None of my cards can do anything yet. Is it Time Theater Cosmo? Uh, incredibly clutch. Oh God, what do I do, man? Am I trying to attack two lanes? They have the damn Morbius up. Uh, oh god. They both mid? Maybe. This is so icky. Maybe both left? I don't know. We hope that we draw something that can get played with Spectrum. We did not. I 
they just Modoc? Well, they could have Swarm in hand. I don't know, after we ball. They did have Swarm. We win if they hit Swarm. They had two Proximas? Fuck you, dude! God damn it! Oh, you piece of garbage, dude. One and three. They had two swarms in hand. Sorry for screaming the F word at you guys. Oh, man, that hurt bad, dude. Echo looks good, thank you. It is now, it's almost a week old now. I got it right before I left. Okay, that means Iron Man is probably also five. Tap the duck. I'm true. Not that it matters. This being five is relevant. Lave. What the heck, man? Random proximal midnight? Maybe it's not random. Iron Man could be insanely cheap. If Iron Man's insanely cheap, you probably just win. Random Nimrod. Oh no! Oh! Oh my gosh! It's be my birthday. How do we lose? There's probably a lot of ways that we lose. I don't think we're gonna find him. Pixie is necessary in the list, yeah. Iron Man. Deck does not work without Pixie. The whole build around to the deck. Yeah, they I don't I don't know how they could have possibly beat that much power output. Victory. Crazy Iron Man top deck. Uh, if you weren't gonna run Pixie, you just build the deck completely differently. Like the whole deck is built around getting uh outs with Pixie. What was their deck? They, they were playing like Hella Carrier cards, so it's kind of hard to say what, what they were doing. Thanks for Vona or Wong? Uh, I originally built the deck without Wong, but I think he's very good at it. Should we try and do the Pixie thing? We wait to Mobius Pixie? I don't think it works. You got the similar deck, but you still have Pixie for Quicksilver. <laughs> Genius! You can Pixie and then play Mobius after. But people were theorizing that if you play Mobius out and you Pixie, after the first Pixie happens, the Mobius would trigger on your deck, and then a second Pixie would be much better because you get rid of all the bad big costs. Sad to see Eddie Jackson go? Nah, man. Blood wasn't doing shit for a while.
Eddie Jackson was completely changed after he got his payday. He had some, 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 sometimes it was okay, but. Well, sorry, I'm, I'm very, very okay with seeing him leave. Cranium. Uh, we can't play Vibranium at all until we get Spectrum. We'll lock down somewhere next turn. I don't know where. Uh, we will have a 5-1 in our deck. It might be, it's probably Sarah. Well, I guess they just all swap around, right? You peace! Only a one in four to get spectrum, so we have to play as if we're not going to get spectrum. I think. Oh, we could have profexed. Brett. Brett. get spectrum anyway now here's the big question we go right or mid left I think we have to go left we only get to eight right do we ever go middle middle's a little tricky gotta be right but then we like the we're, we're only up by like a little bit anything they play left beats us it was kind of cheeky you went mid by going left i don't these neither of these trigger i think it's middle actually as stupid as that looks i think it's middle Left one too, but right lost. Right lost. Left one as well. Wow, dude. Yeah, mid's really tricky, right? Mid's really, really tricky. Yeah, I think right was right was right was hard to do. Like right felt really bad. Like any big card they play left. Very cool. Not a nice, very, very deserved win, I feel, to, to figure out that final turn. Well, I mean we did get super lucky with the Spectrum Top Tech. <laughs> I mean that's not let's not pretend like we didn't get insanely lucky with the Spectrum Top Tech. They also got lucky with the Mobius hit though, so. It's a guaranteed win, essentially. Yeah, I, th I think that winning all three lanes is pretty good. Both the other plays didn't win all three lanes, which which makes them kind of scary. All right, we're going to run three minutes ads. If you don't want to see the ads, you can pay $5. Uh, you can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription available by clicking the subscribe button. And then there should be a little toggle that says Prime. You can see if you can give me free money, which is really cool. Or you can use it on a different Snap streamer. Uh, just just want to make sure you use that dang Prime subscription so Jeff Bezos doesn't get stronger. Uh, or uh, nothing. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. I'll see you in three minutes. It's awesome Iron Man shirt. Thank you. I got it from Teddy Fresh. Uh, I don't think they sell it anymore, though. I just queued a game for no reason. Uh, the company is called Teddy Fresh. It's run by uh, Ethan Klein, who runs H3H3. Climb 25 ranks. It's pretty good. We're getting there. 
The early season's always a lot easier, right? I and mean, we got to like 95 already, I, I think. The early season's always, always pretty easy. I mean, that Hope Summers deck was bruising, dude. What are the stats of that Hope Summers deck? It's always hard because there's bots, but... I hope Summer's deck was plus 71 cubes, 62% win rate. Right now we're at plus 25 cubes, 61% win rate for this one. Um, nothing, nothing to sneeze at. To sneeze at for sure. Not easy for you. Uh, I also play this game professionally for a living, so there's, there's levels, right? Uh, you probably don't play this game professionally for a living. I, I do indeed. Good night, Chihuahua. I think we'll probably go... I don't I don't know, man. I feel great right now. I don't want to keep playing at least an hour longer. We'll certainly go at least an hour. Uh, but we'll, we'll see after that. What else am I looking for for splits? I don't really know if there's anything I'm super looking for. Leech, we're kind of close to starting to get splits for. Weren't we working on Magento? This is a nice Magento split. I would probably bring this all the way up to uh, infinite, so we could just do that. All right, we're going to run, uh, or we're going to do a prediction. You have one minute. Is it going to be a banger split? Yes or no? See you in a few minutes. I'll see you in uh, like 40 seconds. Thank you for enjoying the ads, ad viewers. Thank you, thank you. I don't want to open all these. It's going to take so long. We'll open all the cool ones. We'll open the collector's reserves. Yeah, I don't know this pixie deck, how good it is. It seems pretty solid. It will go until we hit infinite. I don't know. Ooh, that's a cool ass jiggy. dude let's get avatar they call boy thing or something does he have a weird name it's like boy thing pixel torch lol i think is that a is that a, a collection card or like a um it's only discard and destroy for pixel right okay, we'll open the rest later all right what we get welcome back out of thank you for enjoying the ads Pretty cool, uh, but I mean, I think the one that we have is really awesome. That is a win for the believers. Let's go believers. I think this is this is gas, though. That's gas. O2 on Gamma today. It's a, it's a believer focused day, man. We're, we're, believers are winning a lot. Is it called boy thing? Is that right? <laughs> I, I think that that weird uh, blade variant, I think it's called boy thing, which is such a funny name. You see your deck somewhere uh, on the screen? I don't make my profile public on untapped. These people are weird. The 
clipping from man thing became boy thing who would form in a wooden armor for blade wow I can just beat you in Cosmo emote in? Well, I don't have the Cosmo emote, so that'd be pretty hard. The Wongers, I guess? Still trying to get the raft, even though Mobius is active. Quite funny. <laughs> Yolo. Guess we go for this. <laughs> this isn't great. I don't think Sarah does much for us. Maybe Sarah's okay. Maybe Sarah's better. Sarah lets us like Howard Spectrum if we top deck it. Ooh, spooky. Looks like Professor X right was the move. Was all dude ads was it a good split? Uh, it was okay. It was uh, Prism Blue Crackle. It was a win for the believers. Uh, Quinjet's a one cost ongoing card that sometimes gives you value, which is cool. If you top deck the Spectrum, we probably go for it, which might have made us lose. Because if they play middle, they get an extra boost here. We get plus 8, we get to 14, so they would have had to like really dump hand. Escaped. Did they retreat? Is that crazy? I keep feeling like it's not showing me losing, <laughs> it's not showing me losing the cubes on there, but maybe it's just a, uh, or maybe I'm just not looking fast enough, maybe our reaction time sucks. It's 100% illegal for you to wear a boy. That's probably true. Look at this Quinjet value. You get a 414. Double picks equals lie. Looks like stuff didn't get discounted last game. Uh, stuff can not get discounted no matter what happens. It's not just a pixie thing. Okay, we have pixie and a Mobius. Very solid. Uh, we probably snap because we don't we don't know if they have Mobius, but we're certain that we do. We are we are positive that we have the Mobius. And maybe we go Ravona Professor X middle. I did get a haircut, yeah. Victory. I did indeed. I think it looks great too. Oh, I gotta turn this back on. Great YouTube video about it today, by the way. I post on YouTube today. Uh, I posted one yesterday, the strong guy one, the strong surfer. That's good. That's good stuff. How's the Pixie games are going? Not as good as the non-Pixie games. The Hope Summers deck, I think, is better. Yo, Broom Rogers! Thank you so much for becoming a Binks fan. I appreciate it. Thank you for the support. This is what I'm we sure got. everybody's a Binks fan. Look at us. I can't. <laughs> you can Professor X this Nightcrawler. I 
I, I really want a Professor X the Nightcrawler. <laughs> I really want to do it. I really want to do it, chat. How do I win? Great question. You're trapped! I made a play for <laughs> Spectrum doesn't work because it busts my Professor X. Fortunately, losing the rock really hurt. The, the rock was very painful. Space is tough to deal with. I put the ant man there. Let's put the ant man there. Heartbroken, I lost after the genius prop X play. <laughs> Trapping the night crawling. Lucas's bar. Okay. Might be a bot. Okay, these are locations. These are certainly locations that are in the game. All of these locations are, in fact, in the game. This is true and valid statement. Why is my Ant Man triggering? What the heck, man? Spectrum? Son of a bitch. I think they could beat six. You think, you think they could beat six, chat? You think six is enough? Yeah, probably. Victory. At least someone's respecting Spectrum. Yeah, they could, they could only get five. It's true. See, the bots respect Spectrum. Quinjet value, chat! Quinjet value! Maybe not enough win conditions? I mean, most Spectrum decks kind of run into that problem. There's not really anything that you can do. Muted? I'm muted? You're the one who's muted. Well, I mean, they're they're gonna destroy cards for me, right? So like, our death will get cheaper. Oh, 
Dude, it's a big Deadpool you got there. I think it's guaranteed to hit death, right? Almost always. And now only mine can get discounted? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, we, we can't play anything else in our hand, which kind of sucks. Are we? Lighter is kind of interesting in Destroy Decks. Is that like a thing that's been happening? Is that a thing? Slowly but surely, our death is playable. Ooh! Sneaky Skillmonger. Um, we have to win all the locations, which is hard. I don't think their Knoll will outpace my death. We could probably just go like Iron Man left. Hope to get a really cheap Spectrum maybe. They might like Venom this Gladiator, which sucks. I don't really have anything to do about that. If Venom the Gladiator, we just lose. Either Prof X or Iron Man left. Prof X. Uh, we just lose to Venom. Lose to Venom. I should have just retreated. Shouldn't lose eight here. This is actually really bad. Really bad stay. Hoping maybe they were playing, they were just bluff snapping. But I shouldn't lose eight there. Should have just retreated last turn. Bad loss there. Not be able to get right hurt really bad. But we, we beat everything but Venom. Maybe it's okay to hope that they don't have it. Oh. Oh, uh, White Palace's location gave you random 10 costs? Yeah, that's this one. Good jet value, by the way. <laughs> Zabu. Sick. I trusted you. Loki? Loki is very, not very that good against my deck, honestly. I've started with a little bit of rebirth, yeah. Brother. Uh, if we get. Loki's might be okay against our deck. Um, 
I guess we do get them Quinjet when they Loki. Which is pretty bad. Cheap Spectrum? They probably have our Spectrum too. Like our Spectrum only ties left. Doesn't do all that much for us, unfortunately. Uh, but I played uh, maybe five hours of Rebirth. Uh, it's good. It's good stuff. I'm excited to keep exploring it. Okay, A Man Pixie Mobius. Very good. Surely we won't get the same luck as last time. You hadn't played Intermission? Um, mission was fine. Okay, we won't make the same mistake. We'll play Pixie Middle. We made this exact mistake last time of not playing Pixie on Alter of Death. We'll now rectify ourselves. And win middle. Pretty good position to be in. We already snapped. Uh, they could have Jeff. We need Spectrum. Don't really have much uh, decision as to how we get that. Let's cheapen the cost of cards in our hand and start to fill up left a little bit. we can play Wong right, armor left. A pretty damn good spectrum. Um, anything we top deck we can play. We just rip it now. Where we just rip it now? Uh, I don't think we're that scared. Insanely good. Uh, outside of Eliath, I think we beat everything. I think we beat everything outside of Eliath. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy play, but Eliath does dust us. But it's very rare that these Thanos decks on Eliath. If they do, we just get crushed. It hurts. Cosmo, Cosmo's also very rare. Cosmo, we might still win. It'll be close. Depends on what else they do. Because uh, we're still getting to what, like 22, right? Sixteen left, so we do lose left, but more than good enough, right? Iron Man was very necessary. Played opponent. It's nice that they got that blob, so they stayed in the game. Pixie can go crazy, man. Pixie, Pixie goes kind of crazy sometimes. Not always, but when she does, woo wee, she makes this deck look broken. Everybody's a big fan. Yo, I just PJ. Thank you so much for the four months. Olympia was very good for us. Yeah, I mean, getting that Iron Man is crazy. We certainly needed the Iron Man, too. Definitely got some luck there, but we will take it. Lousy. 
The Olympia also maybe got them their blob. It made it, it got their um Uh I think we go Pixie here. We just snap as a joke. People get scared of this location, man. People get insanely scared of this location. We'll just we'll just rip into it with no fear. No. Oh. We'll be fine. We can get armor or something. Uh, what are we having another Binx drinks a -thon? I mean, there's never a Binx drinks a -thon. There's a Binx drinks in the middle of the Binx a -thon. I don't know. At some point. Oh, it's a Hulk! Very scary. It did get an armor. Fortunately, not playable. First time you play the location, Korg and a Galactus, Pog. Just suck that our uh Ninja's dying. You do get a free bass out of the whole sitch. Why didn't I get one of those? Cheater. Okay, Mobius is what we want, pretty bad. Or just cheap. Really good cards. There's a cheap, very good card. Gonna get Mobius coming. I think we just play the Wongers here. Mobius! Like a cheater, dude. So I should have played the Iron Man. I know I haven't been clicking the duck, I'm sorry. I think Mobius is still pretty important. I am Iron Man. Pretty good card. sure we lose. Power does not show the change cost, unfortunately. It's our first time getting Mobius, or maybe the second time? Escape. Pretty lucky. We're definitely stalling out here, though. We're not, we're not climbing very much. I go to Pax East. I'm not. Slob knob corn cob. Uh, I think we snap on a pixie on one, Mobius on two. What's up, cripple? Snaps going well tonight. Mobius. I feel like getting Mobius is so important in this deck. Incredibly rude, by the way. What do you think about filling middle here? Play around Hobgoblin. Let's fill middle and play around Hobgoblin. Uh, we're gonna be in some trouble to left side. They hobgoblin us left now, but I think they probably would have let the hobgoblin fly if they had it. Need some good top decks. I have Mobius that can't hob. It was turn. I was only turn three. So true. Uh. 
super monk ass, dude. We're we're in so much trouble. We're we're in a ton of trouble. And our our cards don't do anything. Right on time, Spectrum. Right on freaking time, dude. They might retreat, though, if they can't beat uh, Spectrum. So they might not be able to. Let's lie to them. Get them to retreat. I did get a pixie on one, this is true. How do we miss a draw? Are there four cards left there? Oh, Black Widow. Maybe we get them to retreat. They can't beat Spectrum. The Spectrum is what, it's 12 middle? The Spectrum definitely beats a middle. I don't know how they would beat Spectrum. But I mean, there's a chance they retreat. Maybe got in their head? I don't know. All depends. Escaped. Uh, when you retreat later than... They did retreat? I actually missed. I actually missed that. That's Pog. The retreat thing shows up so quickly, it's very hard to see. I, mean, I wish it said tie when that happened. That's all about mind games, chat. Mind games are good in this deck. Mind games are good in, in Snap in general. They get, get in people's heads. That was you, no shot? Did you think I had the Spectrum because I said Snap? <laughs> The plan worked perfectly. <laughs> I'll take a Sentinel, why not? Definitely thought I had Spectrum. Now you stopped me from drawing it with the Black Widow. The mind games are an important part of Snap. A lot of people don't, don't think about. next spectrum oh baby oh baby yeah quinjet 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 stonks man only five you piece what the heck man still pretty good Marvel. Next. Iron Man, it could be one. Could be a one cost Iron Man. Never know. You never know. So these are gonna get plus eight. It's pretty good. Let's stop that. Let's go Quinjet Armor Middle. To give us some stuff to take some buffs there. And then we could at least play a Sentinel next turn, or I mean, we could somehow, some way, get an Iron Man if it's a two or a one. With we don't have Ravona down, but it has to be exactly a one. I don't know if we haven't drawn anything that's a one. Or the Wong for fart reasons. Not a bad idea. At the very least, we could play a Sentinel next turn, but it would be great if this uh, Iron Man was discounted. Ah, 
not even a little bit. Uh, well, I think we just do this. We hope that plus 11 left is enough. Right, we're going to get pretty big. We're going to add plus 15, I think. We have to play. I guess they could move the Jeff, but if they move the Jeff, I think we win. Right? Um, can't get farted. Damn good, man. A lot of work they have to do to win. Doom rules all. Doom is not enough. Keep that Nebula at bay with the Sentinels was really good. Very necessary. This Orcus Forge helped us a ton. That was so much closer than I thought, by the way. I, th I thought it wasn't close, but it, uh, it turns out it was very close. We lost to Jeff Wright. <laughs> oh, ew, ew. Jeez. <laughs> Doom doesn't rule all. Okay, Howard. Howard Pixie Mobius, very good. What I feel about Pixie, she's okay. She feels really good when you have Mobius in hand when you play her. Uh, she feels kind of kind of mid if you don't. With infinite energy. Wing? Already getting rid of super flow. That's very surprising. Oh, probably not because it's definitely a bot. Much less surprising now. Iron Man. Hi, Dracula. Hi, Collector. We're actually in a lot of trouble if we don't get um, Spectrum, right? We're in like a medium amount of trouble if we don't get Spectrum. We are not getting. How are we winning? Holy shit. Wait, are we just going to lose? Son of a bitch. Do we just, we just lose? We can't affect left at all. I think we just have to run here. I think full filling left was still correct. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Yeah, Pixie just seems okay. I, I don't think she's worth it. As She's a series five, right? I don't think she's super worth it to go for it. You do get Mobius with her, which is nice if you go for it with keys. Bot did me dirty. It was more my own draws that hurt me more than anything. The deck definitely kind of dies if you don't get Spectrum. Uh, but that's just that's just kind of how it goes. I think we should still always be snapping on Pixie and Mobius though. It's still really strong. There's a chance we need to like maybe slot in some more win. Like maybe the Professor X has to go. The Professor X could definitely go, right? For like a claw or something like that. Like something that actually attacks lanes. That, that might be what we're what, what, what the real ticket is. 
Like having something that can like affect other lanes by itself. Howard for Claw? I, mean, I don't know if you want to go that high. Because if you're taking out Howard for Claw, if you don't draw Pixie, how do you play any of your cards is the problem. It's like weird. If you have like a bunch of five drops, if you have like four or five drops and you don't hit Pixie, like the only other way is like Ravona and uh, Iron Man or Prof X. Same rule apply, but uh, you're taking a one cost and turning it into a five cost. Is, is the thing that, that I'm, I'm talking about. Okay, free one drops is always nice. How does this work? transforms so the ongoing effect goes away not good A bloodstone. Hello. Thank you for being here, Spectrum. We're very missed. It's plus fifteen, right? It's pretty strong. Zero. Son of a bitch. It could be Maw, it could be Howard, it could be Quinjet. So many good things it could be, chat. Spooky! Casserole. Yeah, it's probably better to play it second, just in case, because Zero's such a such a miss. Zero would just lose us the game on the spot, whereas like the other ones are not that big, but much of a deal. We probably should have played it second. Mmm, casserole, so good. Mmm, casserole, so good. Mm -hmm. It would seem to be ready for a spectrum deck. I will say though, Pixie would probably be crazy with old Chavez. Old Chavez would probably make uh, Pixie broken. Old Chavez would be insane with Pixie. Do you get her more consistently? And you would um, draw like a usually pretty good Chavez. Maybe it wouldn't though. I don't know. I guess it depends. You'd have to build around it properly. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just lying, Chad. I don't I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'm just a freaking liar, you know. The Spectrum buff aren't ongoing cards. They've been Sauron. They do not. Hello, Howard. Howard is saying we are going to get Mobius. Just playing Prof X is scary with this Misty Knight. This turn's almost always, um... This turn is almost always for them. Uh, they could also be playing Magic left. Makes Professor X scary if I don't get Spectrum. I am Iron Man. 
own name, by the way. Because this Misty Knight makes it kind of scary. Like, if it, if it shoots left ever... We do have the Spectrum coming. We're only getting 12 right. Man, that's kind of scary. Does it ever get over the top? Plus 2, we get to 6. Plus 11. Ever wins. Damn. Twenty four right could be enough. Just depends on how big their Hulk is. It has to be huge. It has to be twenty two. That's not big enough! Come on, do your math, man. Profex and your she not deck, huh? That's an interesting ad. It could have beat us with Pro Profex Middle. <laughs> Profex Middle would have crushed us. I wonder why they didn't Profex Middle. Profex Middle seems like a surefire win, right? They might have missed that line. Like, how do they ever lose if they Profex middle? I guess I could just play the Spectrum left then? I don't know. What does Mockingbird do, chat? People have been talking about Mockingbird. Do you ever consider a Zabu 4 cost kit? In non Pixie decks, yeah, but it just doesn't seem super worth with Pixie. And I am trying the new card today. But I've, de I've definitely done Zabu, Zabu Spectrum lists, and they're quite good. Actually, in the, the SnapCon tournament, I, I ran my Zong going list. Minus one car, minus one cost per card in play on your side that then start in your deck. So it's just a crazy Thanos card. Kinda sucks. Glad Beast. You know what? Interestingly, I want them to play another Black Widow. If they play another Black Widow, we're actually kind of cooked. We're kind of cooking. Them playing another Black Widow is good for us. So you can play Widow Spectrum Middle. Pool 1 deck strong enough to get to infinite if you're good at the game? Well, if you're in pool 1, you're playing other people who are pool 1, so almost assuredly yes. Iron Man. E Hawk. Uh, this could be in some trouble if they have some Mystique shenanigans. Maybe they should go, maybe the Spectrum should go left here. Not quite sure. Mystique Rock Slide can give us some issues. If we go Rock Slide left, Mystique Middle. Maybe we should play the Spectrum left. I think that was actually a much better play. Let's see if we get punished. It just depends if they go Mystique left or Mystique middle, if they have Rock Slide Mystique. If they go Mystique left, we win. If they go Mystique middle, Rock Slide left, we lose. Oh, wait, we probably still need Mystique, right? Because Mystique would only be 10, we get to 10. No, we only get to 9. Yeah, we'll take the W, though. If you're not in pool one, just build pool one decks for your challenge. Yeah, pool one's very hard. Like, what do you run in pool one? A terrible move. You can certainly get it with a pool two deck. 
Pool one would be hard. I mean, I'm sure you can. You can play like some weird kazoo build, but. Like, I'm sure, like, the best players, like, I'm sure, like, a Lammy could, could do it easily, right? He's just so, he's just so good at the game. I don't think I could. I also don't think it would be interesting to watch. Moon Girl Dino, aren't, isn't Moon Girl and Dinosaur both Series 2? I'm fairly certain they're both Series 2. Or is the Collector Series 2, and then that's why people usually wait for a Series 2 to play that. I, I do not know. Quinjet value, by the way. Hey, can you play like Wong for Wong Tiger Odin? Which could be okay. Duck. What the hell, man? Um, forty percent chance to draw Spectrum. I think we try and live in a world where Spectrum isn't our owl. I think we do this and like Orca left. Maybe try and get some crazy top decks with like super good Sarah, super good Prof X or something. You're a piece of shit, dude. It's the second time that's landed perfectly for my opponent. I guess we just go Iron Man Orca. Just got the Rouge out of the way, man. Think they play around Orca? Sure hope not. dude how sad was that to see that go away bad miss 50 50 man here's the thing right if we orca left like how do they win middle and right Dong chi runs that in their deck am i right Actually, I feel like we've seen like one Shang-Chi today. I feel like it's, kind of, it's not as around as much anymore. Am I crazy to think that? Animated. The one time Pixie was huge. About, Pixie's doing great. Okay. We believe in our Pixie. Look at all our fun little toys. He's doing amazing. We support our pixie friend. Elysium. Jeez. Victory. People are really sick and tired of getting Mobius on Elysium, I feel. I, I, I have the feeling that people are really sick of having that happen. Cerebro Enjoyer. What is Dexter doing? He raided me? I, I have to fight Dexter with all his fans watching me? What a nightmare. I have to fight Dex with all the Dex fans here? Oh my gosh. Simon's streaming? That's, that's how you know he loves, he truly loves Snap, man. That's how you know he truly loves Snap. Is it fake Dex? Victory. Think so?
Real deck size pixel arrow. Doesn't he do a different one for every deck? He doesn't do the same one for every deck, does he? Uh, what's your rating on Dexter's acting in the latest trailer? 10 out of 10, of course. No questions that. Ooh, we got a bot. Snap. Snap me. Snap me, bot. Snap me, bot. Snap me. Come on, bot. Snap me. Do it. Do it, bot. Snap me. Do it. Using using Storm on Kiln on turn three is very funny. Snap me. Peace. This is what we Big everybody. goblin. Uh. Cheap wongers? Rock! What the heck, man? It's a disaster. It's a damn disaster, chat. They play Hobgoblin right, we probably just lose. Three lanes profit. Win three lanes profit. It is. Don't attack two lanes. Don't do it. Don't attack middle and right. Don't. Don't do it. Don't attack both middle and right. Mole man. That's what I thought. Not ready for Galactus. I don't think any uh, bots would use a Galactus deck. Fairly certain there's none. Victory. Getting close, chat. Getting close. We're going to take a three minute break. If you don't want to see the ads, there's a few things you can do, chat. You can pay $5 and use all of our awesome emotes. You can check to see if you have a Twitch Prime subscription by clicking the subscribe button and then check uh, using the Prime toggle. To siphon money directly out of Jeff Bezos' soul and put it into my soul, making me stronger and him weaker. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. See you in three minutes. I'm going to take a real break. Uh, so I'll see you then. Uh, I'll see you in like two minutes.
Hello. I wonder if we should switch to the other deck for the last hour. Let's see where we're at with. Um... Let's switch back to the Hope Summers deck. And check. Pixie highlights, so we get two, three, four. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's switch back to the uh, let's switch back to the other deck. I felt like that deck was better. You can use Prime on mobile. You have to click the subscribe button, and then there's a little toggle that says Prime. And it just doesn't show up right away. So if you click the the subscribe button, and then you toggle the Prime, uh, it'll let it work. Let's switch back to the Hope Summers deck. You want to change anything about the deck? I think that deck was kind of sick. Maybe we'll get more, um... Uh... Maybe we'll get... Maybe we'll do a little bit better getting over the finish line. We're only going to stream for another hour max. So we might blue ball you to getting infinite. What I change for duck? Uh, any small ongoing card that fits in your local meta. Uh, Lizard's probably fine. All right, chat, we're going back to Greed Surfer for the last hour here. Nobilatro, no. Nobilatro, probably not till next week. I, I have to, <laughs> I have to make a lot of content. Okay, switch, switch gears. If you're just coming back from the ads, I'm switching back to the Greed Surfer deck. Because uh, I think it's a little bit better. Pixie deck is good, but I think this one can help us get over the finish line. Rue is a good card in our deck. Okay, goblins. Okay, we just have to be ready to try and stop Galactus. Try to start, we'd start saying no to junk. Might be too slow to say no to junk. Probably need Quake to say no to junk. We'll try our best. Demon, Ravona. Okay, Mobius is gonna help. We're going to throw a Hobgoblin at us this turn, almost certainly. We're going to throw a Hobgoblin. Uh, we don't have priority, so it doesn't matter. Maybe Hobgoblin left. Okay. We are in time to say no to junk. If we get oh, Quake. We need Quake, man. though. Uh, quick, okay, huge. Uh, we could just like Ironheart Surfer Odin. Might be hard to win, right? Successfully said no to junk. Besties, what's going on? Thank you so much for the raid. I super appreciate it. This might not be enough, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna give it our all. They shouldn't be able to beat us right. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat them left or middle. Just depends on how much juice they have. Like I don't I don't know really what else they have to throw at us. If they hobgoblin middle. This is Hobgoblin Middle, we're, we're, we're cooking. Oh, this is so good.
<laughs> we are going to buff the goblin before it goes back over, though. It's actually... <laughs> We're giving them a bigger goblin. We, we They gave it to us, we're gonna buff it for them and then give it back. <laughs> Thank you so much for the, the, the rain. Oh, look at that! Okay, we'll take a win. Is Odin reveal order or location order? I think it's a reveal order. Maybe, may, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out, I guess, right? Uh, thank you for the shout out to KM Best. Go check him out. He's a much better player than me, but very, very good at the game. Uh... Take a cheeky win here. How have you liked the uh, new cards, KM Best? I haven't had the chance to play around with them until today. Well, Annihilus isn't location order, but that's a board-wide effect, whereas Odin's a single lane effect. Kind of hard to, ta to, to say. You want to come to hell with me, opponent? I think our opponent wants to meet me in hell chat. Mixing may or may not be a Loki card. Very interesting. Yeah, Hope Summers is really good. I snap every time District X comes is my plate. Should I? Probably not. Oh, a Tumul location, Pog! Ah! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Get a bunch of extra energy next turn. It's cuz. Brings us to seven. Tomb a top deck, maybe? Maybe it's just stupid. Yeah, okay. Victory. Two Atumas? Two of them? One was scared. No, never face me on my home field advantage. District X is my is my home field. If you face me on District X, you're gonna lose. It's not gonna be a great time. Yeah, I was playing a Pixie Spectrum deck that was... It did okay. But I really like this greedy-ass Surfer deck. This deck is really fun. Has some pretty crazy lines. The, the goal, essentially, is to, like, use Wave and Wong to get, like, Wong into Surfer Odin on the Wong lane. I mean, plus six for all our cards. Makes the cards go pretty burr. Okay, let's think about if we need to hope here. I think hope, I mean, it's hard to say no, right? We hope into three drop and a double three or Sarah, depending on what we need. Magic's really nice here. We can magic on... Eh, magic on Teton. It's probably better for us than them. It's just the Odin isn't that big of a deal. We could choose to double three or just Sarah next turn. We're just gonna... If we're just gonna Sarah next turn, which seems pretty likely, let's just go here. We always have to be aware of Reality Stone, so we'll go pretty hard the, the turn after this. Maybe they're just Reality Stone now. You never, you never quite know. Full stacking left. Uh, is pretty psycho. I don't know what they're doing. Killing all their cards. I guess that makes sense. Do a cheeky Sarah left here. Next turn, even just like Ironheart Odin is pretty strong. Ironheart Odin Quake. Uh, if we're expecting a Limbo uh, to get turned off. Very exaggerated. The null is not very scary.
Ordering is very important here too. I think we go here and then quake right. Like, what does Zola really do for them? Not much. We always have to play around Reality Stone, I think. I think we always have to play around Reality Stone. No Reality Stone. Might be trying to set up Zola now. Still not that scary. It's enough to beat us, like unfortunately. I don't think we can get enough points right. B plus 10. Did they even run Zola in the Thanos version? Not sure. I may not even run it. We do lose to Zola, but like, I don't, I don't know. Negasonic mid, it would just kill the Zola, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, they have a lot of work cut out for them to, to win this. I think you have the Zola. Okay, we'll play. Weird deck. Nothing I could do against it. Nothing I could do against this particular play. It looks like just a classic destroy deck just with Thanos in it, which is very weird. I think it's okay to not play around the Zola there. It's a very interesting inclusion. They did set it up in the, the pretty clear lane to do it. They're also just dead if we had our Surfer, right? If we had our Surfer, they were just dead. Sinister Lemon. Okay. Might be early quaking. Oh, yes, you hit the only card. Thank you for the Sentinels. Just go double Negasonic. We have the Wong Surfer, which is pretty crazy. Let's go Negasonic into Wong, setup turn, Surfer, Iron Ironheart Surfer or something. Bonked me twice. Let's see where the Wong lands. We might be in some trouble fulfilling Mojo. Hmm. Phone Mojo World, man. 
How or oh, how are we filling Mojo World? I think we do do so double Sentinel, which is really dumb. We do this. See where it lands. Oh, mid, so you can Ironheart Surfer twice guaranteed. Yeah, but then we lose left always. Is the the problem with making that play? Because then we'll always ever get two cards to land left, and we we auto lose it. Therein lies the problem. Ironheart lands left. <sighs> Let me just hit the praise. Fifty fifty. I just have to praise. Okay. I am. Iron it's not gonna be enough, buddy. I am Iron Man. GG's. Big eight. Big eight. It's, it's it's scary to go for 50-50s for 8, but I think as, as long as that lands, we're okay. One, even without the 50-50? Maybe. Maybe we still just went right and left. They would have gotten an Omega Red Trigger, which is scary. I don't know, I don't know how the Omega Red Trigger would have landed. I don't know how the... I, I, I didn't calculate how the Omega, um, Omega Red Trigger would have affected that. It would have been close. Mega Red wouldn't have given him enough even with the army. I don't know because if the surfer lands middle, it does, or if the surfer goes middle, it doesn't give double. So it would have been minus like 12. Right? I think we would have lost right and left, almost certainly. Because we had 30 something and they had like 20 with the Iron Man, that would have been at 28 and we would have had less triggers. I don't think it would have worked. It would have been close. I don't think it would have worked. If we filled mid before, it was guaranteed to go long left, but we were also guaranteed to lose left because we wouldn't have gotten full trigger. We, we talked about that as it happened. Okay. Victory. I too would have liked to fill middle and made it guaranteed, but we just didn't have enough cards to fill uh, all the lanes. Weird retreats indeed. Back to weird retreat life. You were with that that bounce move deck, man. I think I do also. I mean, I take quite a bit of time to take my turns off because I taught them through it for you. But some people get pissed off about that. Yeah, top deck brood would have been nice. Hamertage is really good for us. How are we setting this up? Yeah, your viewers? What was that a reference to? <laughs> Don't hit my surfer. Thank you. So far, I'm the only streamer who pronounced correctly. Dude, how do you spell it wrong? How do you say it wrong? That's very surprising to me. And we have no magic.
Um. If they don't have a way around Wong, we're fine. Don't kill my Wong. Thank you. Oh, never mind. I mean, honestly, insanely rude of you. They did lose their Null, though. So... There's that. We have plays, chat. Everyone shut up. I should play this magic left. Probably. Why are you still killing your cards? All your card killing stuff is gone. You're being weird. Our opponent's being weird. About to have a fat knoll, is discarded knoll? Is, is knoll that's in his discard pile? It's gonna be huge. We're fine. As long as we get Surfer, which we guarantee. And they don't turn off Limbo. Two cards in their hand, chat. We're we're gonna win. Everyone, stop worrying. out here all worried and shit, man. Fuck ass. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting about Kamrataj shit. Never mind, I don't think we're okay. I no longer think that we're okay. Wait, do we win total power? We might win total power. Wait, no, there's no way we win total power, right? We don't even win left. <laughs> we got a half-baked casserole. It was close, Chad, it was close. I wanna cheat him. How many X-23 triggers do they get? No, the whole game. I think they got like 12. <laughs> I think they got like 20. We might have won if uh, Venom went first. If Venom went first, we might have won. It's closer than you think is what I'm saying. Why do they put rocks in their deck? I don't know. It might be a bot. Uh, we have our full combo. Let's get rid of this location.
Good guy, thanks for preventing opponent from shuffling more rocks. They really wanted to. They really wanted to get more rocks in their deck. So next turn we wave brood. And then go to the frickin' moon, dude. Wave brood into Surfer Odin. He realizes it might not be. I don't know. This Namor is freaking weird, man. I am Iron this Namor is being weird. Turn off my limbo, cheater. This is the combo chat, if you're wondering. Victory. Wong Surfer Odin for six triggers. Thank you for the four. Thank you, thank you. What's really interesting is like Hope Summers isn't even like that crazy in this deck. She's just like good. Like you could yeah, you could have run this deck before Hope Summers and it would have been still okay. You can see the combo unclear. Uh you you have to let the bots be ahead and between like Turns two through six, they have a chance of snapping if they're ahead. It's all about how you deal with the, the bot. Okay, we have to be really smart with our management of space. With Noir Dimension. But Noir Dimension is, tends to be pretty good for us. We might not magic this game. Magic might be bait, because we have all this energy and all these cards to play. Okay. Disregard. Let's play with the destroy deck? Yeah, that was, that was close, G. GG's. We have server. I think we need to do full combos, so we're, we're really hoping to wait for Wong. I think we want to do full combo. With uh, Wong, Ironheart, Surfer, Odin. I'd say we stick in. I mean, we're... we're we, got, we got a lot of plays, man. If we get our full combo, it's very hard to beat. Just have to get to Wong. Uh, we have three draws for him. We could potentially set it up so that we're like okay, no matter when we draw it, which is nuts. Uh, do we have to play around Reality Stone? Probably, right? Wait, we should play around Reality Stone. Let's set it up so we can still top deck Wong next turn. Wait, we can stop from Reality Stone from happening, right? Let's play Magic.
Um, but we have to make sure we're getting cards out of hand. Actually helps with that. Tech is blob. Oh, they can't. They don't have reality stone. It's good news. I have Professor X, which is scary. But a lot less scary when it's played where we don't need it. A lot less scary when it's played where we don't care. That Professor X could have been a nightmare. Give me the Wong. I don't think we can hold out for a Wong top deck. We do this. And then if we get Wong, we could, it's two, four. Two, four, that's six, three, that won't work. I think we just win because we're gonna be able to win middle like Odin triggers, right? It's like, Surfer gets six, Odin will give six more. Maybe we're more scared about a Lyoth now. This will allow us to play Wong Odin. You get it? Yeah, this allows us to play Wong Odin, which is very good. This allowing us to play Wong Odin is huge. Ah! Oh no. Now we have to have like all three lane middle. Oh no, dude, what a nightmare. Damn, dude. It's tough. Mag Cheeto indeed. Tough game. I don't know if we got any play around that. Sniping for sure? By playing Magneto to block up uh, the only empty lane? I don't doubt that. It is very easy to just call people snipers though whenever they win. Uh, they are a dork though, so you can make fun of them for being a dork. OG Brooded said left out a chance? I don't think so. That's on Abzan, and this deck, it could be good. Could be good backup fuel. I haven't felt like I've needed it done. Okay. Wake for Death Domain goes crazy. This might mean they have Deadpool in hand, so maybe we should retreat, but we're fine. Did mean that they had Deadpool in hand. 50-50 uh, priority here. Uh, we win it. I wonder if we still hold the Quake though. I think we have to hold the Quake. Like what is, what is making the miss on the Deadpool right now do for us? Next to nothing. Doesn't really help us. We just have to hope to win. As as is mostly the case with uh, Marvel Snap. No. So just build up middle, quake it.
Negasonic destroy Deadpool? It does, yeah. I should have just retreated on the turn one snap on this, I mean. Uh, with full combo, we can find some outs, but it's going to be very hard. We're going to have to put in a lot of hard work to win this game. And get really lucky. On top of that. Next time we go, like, Negasonic Quake. And try and make something happen behind that. It's, it's going to be tough, though, man. Spider-Man is thought by Hope Summers. Insanely rude of you. Maybe we can get something happening with like wave. Ah, uh, wave doesn't even work, man. Try getting initiative. It's a bit easier said than done, buddy. Could win us right, but how do we win another lane is the, the big issue facing. I guess we did get an extra trigger from Hope Summers. So if we had wave, we actually were able to go crazy this turn. But we didn't have wave. Like Wong wave goes pretty nuts. Ready to learn initiative, buddy. Wow. Fuck you, dude. Oh! Imagine? Oh, we still just lose, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta love the perfect Nico spell in turn six. Speed this up. I can't believe they got four out of me with that. That hurts, man. Super unlucky. I mean, we were probably retreating anyway, but I, I think you can't. Uh, maybe I should have just played around the, um, the Deadpool thing or the Nico thing. It's just hard, dude. Super feels bad moment. I don't think it's a bit iffy. Okay. No hope, unfortunately. Hope Summers would really help us here. Gray is incredibly annoying. Uh, maybe not that annoying though. Just depends on what they have. Double Quake is a joke. I think we actually have to go down the Ironheart line. The Ironheart line is the way that we win right. So we have no, no triggers for Surfer. Doom rules all. Doom rules all, by the way. Oh! Oh! Why not Sarah? Because we want to get Odin down. Uh, they could have Elioth. That would make me cry. But I just have to take it on the nose. I think if they have it.
Just have to take a Lyoth on the nose if they have it, unfortunately. We do get to watch the Quake trigger a bunch of times, which is funny. Electrical Pixie Swap card? Nah, it always looks at base cost. Banger, this is one of the new songs. Fuck you, dude. We still just win? What are you doing, dude? Thank you, I guess. Victory. I guess they were just expecting Surfer, right? They must have just expected Surfer, I guess, huh? So they were like, oh, the Cosmo gets us ahead of Surfer? Nick, 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 nick. Maybe they didn't have enough to beat the 12 anyway. Now, you'd be surprised. No one runs Odin in Surfer decks, man. Who the hell runs Odin in a Surfer deck? That's a psychotic thing to do. That's part of the reason that playing off meta can be pretty sick. Thank you, based Mobius, for saving us from Icebox. Ooh, probably a She-Hulk deck, too. Probably Snapworthy. Location made six house cards go to five when Sarah take it down to four. I just play Sarah and then I play. Yeah, maybe you're right. I mean, that, that's that's a good point. Moby's necessary in this deck. I think Moby's necessary in a lot of decks right now. He's very good. He's not necessary, but he's one of the stars for for certain. It's not just for countering Pixie, it counters a ton of decks. A lot of people are running that um, She-Hulk Infinite deck that Mobius beats. Lots of good stuff. Probably never activate Miss Marvel. Uh, are we looking at Stats Quake here? Neither of these locations seem important. We'll go Stats Quake. Oh, I set them up to win Eternity Range. What a disaster. What the heck, man? Just go hope. Is this mine? Yes. Is indeed. We really want to play into hope here. I guess we could just shut off by frost. Aha! Your Miss Marvel ain't going anywhere, buddy. Okay, we can get to seven next turn. Then we play Ironheart. Next turn we could play Wong Wave. And then we could get uh, Surfer Odin. Isn't that something? Isn't that something indeed, chat? The variant doesn't give you the base card. Correct. Oh, you poor soul. Mobius is also good against Sarah, by the way. Uh, we either get Surfer Odin or Brood Surfer, both of which are pretty damn good. Ding, ding, ding. 
Uh, they could have like Legion, which hurts, and I didn't think about it until just this very moment. But we'll just hope that they don't. If we get Legion, just know it was, it was my fault, and I deserve it. Can I have Magento? You think so? I don't know. Doesn't seem that likely. Okay, they do not have Legion, which is good. If we get Odin, we're out of control, sick. Sonic sucks ass. This should win us right and left. The Killmonger was actually great for us. The Killmonger was actually insane for us. Killmonger gave us like plus six. We can do some cheeky things. I literally hate you. <sighs> we just by one point. Uh, three points. Say like Juggernaut attack, man. I can't even be a man. I even though I am. Ugh. Hope replacement? You can't. Play a different deck. Next, built around hope. Dude, we are getting some bad losses, man. What's up, Brave? Miss you too, man. Hope you're well. Okay, Reality Stone almost certainly coming down on Nexus. Early Sarah's kind of cracked. Hope you're doing well, Brave. I should be and should stay mad about the tech. It's fair. ready for the quake though. Tell you what chat, they are not ready for the quake. Beat up by uh, Eliath, but I, I choose to believe that card isn't real. Or Cosmo, or a varietal of different things. Wait. Check the blob. Sounds like too much work, if you ask me. Sounds like a lot of work, if you ask me, chat. Check it afterwards. Ooh! Come on, chat, how close can we get? Can we beat you without even the wave needed?
Doesn't matter. Oh, you gotta love it. Yeah, gotta love it, chat. Yeah, gotta love it. I love Quake, man. I love Quake. Alright, chat, I feel like that was a pretty good one to end on. Let's, let's get some celebration. We got all the way from 73 to 96. Uh, I've already streamed for, what, six, seven hours? You got seven hours of my time today. I, I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm going to stream tomorrow. Uh, unclear when. Check the Discord, exclamation point Discord. Uh, if you want to jump in the Discord and find out. I think there's a little cause for celebration. We had a really nice day back. Bunch of awesome content. Had a lot of fun. You feel you feel for that person? Gotta, gotta respect the Quake Tech, man. Quake Tech can, can do anything. Welcome uh, thank you so much to uh, uh, KMS and Dexter for the massive raids today. On YouTube, like Super good subscribe. homie energy. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna clap some cheeks. Now be a good chatter and don't be a peep. Let us Bix, send you our boy Tucker. Bix, 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 Bix. Uh, we used, we did three hours of a pixie deck and, and about four hours of this deck. Both of which are really good. We're gonna send you all over to Tucker's channel. Tucker's a super cool dude. Tell him hello. I hope you like the vibe. Thank you all so much for being here today. It means a lot. Uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow at some point. Question mark time. Uh, I'll let you know on Discord. And make sure you set notifications on if you want to see it. If you're watching on and if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. And subscribe. Catch you guys later.